Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Or rather, let's jump into editor extensions and try out that ship that we were designing. Uh, I have it blueprinted here. Haven't finished it yet. In fact, I didn't fix the asymmetry uh, from this front corner. But... Lol, was watching a VOD and you started streaming. Nice. We Carbon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put a door here. Uh, if I can find it. Is that ship just roughly the optimal size? Uh, it's as, it's about as big as we can get uh, with our current research in the game. We've got a thousand hull stress that we can play with. Uh, we are we do have the tier one deep space science packs, which will get us to two thousand, but everything is bottlenecked on Naquium at the moment. Uh, we need lots of it. So currently we're spamming out more ships uh, of this shape right here. Um, so they can go to our existing uh, deep space mines. But I'm pretty sure this one, we actually measured it against where we're picking up our Naquium from already. Apart from needing to uh, add another output for sulfuric acid, uh, we should have no issues uh, resupplying uh, using the new ships to get that stuff. And I want to make this like the new universal workhorse, since it's got antimatter engines, plenty of booster tanks. Well, I guess it's going to need plenty of booster tanks to get off some planets, um, considering the size that we're going for. Uh, yeah, but I want to pretty much make this the ship that we're going to replace everything else with. Um, we do have, I believe... Uh, let's see. What's it called? Antimatter Reactor. Uh... We could also unlock antimatter reactors, but once again, that's behind another 1,000 uh, Deep Space One science. Um, and we also need to do the logistics for... Um, actually, I guess while we're here in editor extensions, we can confirm uh, exactly what goes in here. Antimatter canister... And it probably spits out a canister, right? Probably take a minute to find out. Antimatter... What, what, what the... Okay, it doesn't have two ends in it, I don't think. Antimatter canister... And... Go. Oh, that... Are we on normal game speed? Yeah, we're on normal game speed. That burns through really, really quickly. And isn't it a thousand antimatter per canister? Uh, yeah. That's a thousand antimatter being burned up. Does it slow down once it gets to temp? If it does do that, kind of like, uh, uh, kind of like with boilers, I guess we can't put a boiler down here. Oh, we can. Uh, let's just give, give me, give me, give me some coal. Uh, I guess we need water. Yeah, nuclear reactors, unlike coal p power plants in Factorio, don't have the magical not-burning-fuel-that-we-don't-need-to-burn uh, system built into it. 
uh, I'm pretty sure the moment this thing gets full of steam, yeah, it just stops burning the fuel. If this thing does the same, uh, then antimatter reactors might just become my new favorite once we get them, although they are a little bit expensive. That's more than a little bit expensive. Ouch. Uh, 50 naquium cubes, which translates to uh, 800 naquium plate just for one reactor. Just one of these without a neighbor bonus gives us 400 megawatts. Um, but then... So I guess... We would need a couple just to support one high-temperature turbine generator at full output. Although, a spaceship actually doesn't need anywhere near that kind of power. Yeah, what, let's speed this up. I want to see... Does it stop burning fuel if we get to max temp? Shores Bowser, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Almost there. And it keeps burning it. That is incredibly expensive. Wow. Uh, wait, I need to slow things down again. I should just copy-paste that. There we go. Um, so we definitely have to have fuel management, but I mean, especially considering we're going to be having a lot of these ships, I think I would rather go with the energy beam receiver as much as it is ridiculously large. Um, we don't need to have any... The only logistics we need is to pump energy into it with a beam, which is really easy. Did you know when you're in console you can just up arrow to get what you typed last? Ah, good point. Thank you. Um, also, I want to make sure... I kind of tested this yesterday, but not. Um, I want to make absolutely sure that we're not colliding with any of these shields. Yeah, no, that looks good. So, we'll test it, but I'm pretty sure these shields will prevent asteroids from hitting the walls. Maybe not right here. I can't really put this in any closer, though. We do have lasers everywhere covering this spot. Um, but yeah, that'll keep the Naquium cost of this build down to just the engines and antimatter booster tanks. Um, we don't really need Naquium accumulators or flat solar panels. The accumulators are really just... Well, actually, the accumulators on this build were basically just for power management. Uh, and on the off chance that we have power issues, it'll slow down automatically. But we don't even need power management on this one. Hey, Daniel. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I definitely want... Um... Uh, set requests for all of these chests. That looks weird. How about this? So that when we make a change, we just have to make it in one place. That looks kind of weird as well, but what can you do? Actually, I want this green wire to touch all of these things, so... What's that going to look like? Give that back. What's the cleanest way we can do this? Uh, we need to read from the sulfuric acid. 
need to read one of the water tanks. And I guess I wouldn't mind being able to mouse over this pylon substation uh, to see exactly how much we've got here. Alright, so we're going to set requests on all these chests. I might have one extra chest that's a bit different, especially if we get stuck with an odd number to keep this under a thousand hull stress. 882, that's not that much more. 930... 978... 1002, that's devastatingly close. Okay, so how, mu how many chests is this? 34. Um, I can't do that part symmetrically. Maybe here? Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I won't worry about the wiring too much until we've confirmed that the ship design works well enough. Only because of container stress, I wish we could make um, logistic chests that were a bit smaller. But that's the only reason. Alright, we will be needing uh, water, antimatter, and sulfuric acid. I only really need the pump for the water here, but... That needs to be limited to a little bit less than a full tank in each tank, that is. And uh, antimatter and sulfuric acid. Antimatter stream. Fantastic. Uh, I suppose we need to... If I only have the clamp on one side, I can't really put the water in from both sides and limit it. I'll just do this for a moment to speed it up. Unless I were to have this wire go all the way across here somehow. Like with a pylon. I think it already had those settings. Oh, and we need to beam some heat into this. Um, why don't we do that? Energize here, and hopefully we can get that done quite quickly. Oh yeah. There's quite a bit of empty space on the sides here. Uh, hull stress is actually pretty close to maximum. I could add some accumulators or maybe even lasers or something. Oh, that's right, I didn't... Uh, make this part symmetrical yet. Can I flip this? I can. Fantastic. So what have we got here? 12 lasers? I was gonna say I'm sure that's gonna be enough, but then again I haven't tried... I know we've got a much bigger ship, but six engines is something I haven't tried yet. Considering that our player ship has four engines and hull stress is 526, this is almost double that, but we have six engines. Uh, I think I would, uh, if it's going to be a similar sort of proportion for speed to weight to thrust, um, this should be enough defenses. 
And we can probably trim this bit on the side a bit more, back a bit. But I want to try it like this first. Okay, um, we can cheat some antimatter while we're out there. Actually, I guess not. Don't, oh, here we go. No, that would connect to that pipe. Um, wait, are these connected? I don't think they are. Feel like they should be. They don't strictly need to be at all. Uh, but yeah, we don't really need that many accumulators. Okay, I think we're just about ready to launch. This should be not quite full. That is getting over full. What's going on? Oh. Oh, this wire isn't connected. Deceptive. It's really hard to see. Alright, um... Delete some water. And temperature is already at 7,000. That's good. We'll have a full tank at about the same time this reaches max temperature. Alright, let's set a destination so we can test it. Uh, if we head for, let's say, Galactic Graveyard, or maybe Black Mirror... We'll go straight through maximum density asteroids twice really early. What was it called? Graveyard. No, Black Mirror. Haven't seen that in a while. Except on Variety Day. All right. Um, black. Are we ready to go? I would say so. Twenty-four thousand five hundred. Perfect. Hey, good Chen. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what number should I set for this? I really should have a list of these things. I have to keep coming up with arbitrary numbers. Uh, let's say 12 for the number of laser turrets we have. And launch. The engines are all 98% or 100%. That's fantastic. Ooh. How fast are we already? 80! What? 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 O okay. That's... That's more speed than I was expecting. Are we, uh... Are we on normal game speed? Yeah, we are. FPS, UPS, I can just look at that. Well then. How does our power look? Um... Pretty good, actually. I mean, we can't actually get one gigawatt from this thing because um, we don't quite have the three condenser turbines to let this thing go full speed and get rid of all of the 500 degree steam. In fact, it should be... It is... I think it's very slowly increasing? No? Yes. It happens in bursts. 
we need to see if this thing... I mean, I'm sure it will, but we need to be sure that it has all the power that it needs um, when the 500 degree steam is backed up. Why don't we help it along just a little bit? Uh, steam... Wait, let me move this here first. And 500 degrees. Alright, so that is full of 500 degree steam. We should be... I think we have to go a bit further before it's going to bottleneck on the 500 degree steam. But regardless, that should give us like more than two thirds of uh, one gigawatt, even when it is bottlenecked like that. Uh, which should still be way more than enough power for this ship. I like the shape of the graph when the, uh, when the shield curves kick in. It's kind of weird. With the spikes from the lasers mixed in with it. What's this? Oh, flat, oh, we just left the solar system, that's why. You can see flat solar panel power production just rolling down as we get further from the sun, down to basically zero. Uh, do we still... it looks like we do. Have energy weapon damage research at level 9, perfect. Is there a negative of going too fast? Yeah, you get more and for some reason bigger asteroids that you can run into and eventually crash into if your defenses can't keep up. That's the only downside. How fast are we got? 213. That is almost as fast as our player ship. That is significantly more than I was expecting. Uh, but we seem to be able to handle it. All the more reason to build this ship. Wow. That's going to make it so much easier to get the Naquitite. Uh, how fast have we got? So, let's see... We've been traveling for four and a half minutes, if that. Um, and we're already... We're already as far away as the nearest star. I mean, it has six engines? Yeah, but I thought it would need like eight to go this fast. Considering uh, the player ship is like more than half of the hull stress it has four engines it's a little bit more than half the hull stress it has four engines uh this one is maxed out for what we can do right now and it has six the container stress and hull stress are actually really close together uh, that means if I trim this back a bit, we probably could go a bit faster. But on the other hand, these lasers being able to reach the very tip like that is probably a good idea. It's kind of cool on the map. We've even got all this space in the middle could fit all kinds of... okay, not that. <laughs> That's a bit much to try and fit on the front of the ship. Doesn't quite look like it, but the console and the roboport are in the same spot on the opposite sides. I suppose I should have put the console on the right if the door was going to be on the right here. Uh, don't get hit and instantly killed by an asteroid. That would be embarrassing. Again. 
I think there might be some non-linear speed falloff after 200-ish. As in, it takes more engine power after a point. Yeah, all the more reason... Whoops. <laughs> all the more reason why I would have expected it to take more engines to go this fast. With this size of a ship. Um, but yeah, we seem to be having no issue whatsoever plowing through maximum density asteroids. Although, I tested the hell out of the player ship in maximum density asteroids, and we eventually did have a, a random asteroid manage to hit on the side near the back. But given how far out these energy shields uh, stick, I don't think it's going to be a problem on this ship. You can walk out of your ship going that fast? Yeah, it's no problem. Easy. Uh-oh. In fact, I don't know why I'm, like, slowly falling backwards. If we're... If we've reached our top speed... Well, I guess there's a tiny amount of drag. But, for the most part, in space... You, you, you don't need these engines constantly pushing <laughs> to keep up your speed. This is very video game space. Confizzle? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Momentum and no friction? Yeah. There's, a, there's at least a bit of friction here. But yeah, we, we this is video game soupy space. We need constant thrust to keep going. Um, and we don't have to do anything to decelerate. As opposed to, for maximum speed, spending half of the journey accelerating and then the other half turned around facing the other way and decelerating. Well, it doesn't seem like there's much chance of an asteroid ever squeezing through here. Um, I, 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 I hope. Elvis Orbit. This is working beyond my wildest expectations, actually. Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, fuel consumption is about as good as I could have hoped for. Um, why don't we find the nearest big planet? This is almost 9,000 radius. I want to see exactly how much fuel it takes to take off from that. I'm thinking it'll be worth just landing these ships directly on those big planets. Um, I do want to swap... Oh, I can't fit this yet. It's fine. This is fine. I do want to put the console right next to the door, uh, and close to the spaceship clamp. I would put it up here, but it can't be symmetrical, and this is, I feel like this is a little bit better. Um, so, as for the wiring, green wire is going to be, uh, to set requests on all of these chests, maybe with the exception of one or two, probably not though. Um, I feel like this would look a little bit, a little bit less messy. Actually, that might be.
Why is why is everywhere? That looks kind of weird. Like it's going through the booster tank. Uh, this is fine actually. So I want all of these chests set to set requests. Uh, and I'm just realizing that may be a problem if we want them to use the existing deep space mines. But probably not. I can probably add a constant combinator at those destinations to set requests and the other ships will probably be unaffected. Green wire is for reading. We're going to need a different drop off for them. But that was already true because we needed a different shape. Okay. I almost wish we ended up with an odd number of chests so that I could reserve just one of them. I mean, I, 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 I could still reserve just one of them for various things. We're going to set that on the red wire, which is also going to be... It's in kind of an awkward spot. How about this one? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, this goes here. Is this connected? Yes, it is. Okay. I think we don't need to connect that to island substation actually but it looks kind of weird if we don't this one I can live with that So all of these are set requests, the difference is which wires they're connected to. Green is going to be for reading fluids and uh, setting requests of the vast majority of these chests. And red is for giving the console commands and also setting the requests on this one. So this one's going to have bots, um, come to think of it, I should probably put that next to, uh, next to the RoboPort. It's going to be a little asymmetrical if I do that. So that we can put bots in if necessary. Um, we're gonna go set filters, blacklist, read robot statistics, available construction bots. We only need like one construction bot to be honest. Um, or We'll, we'll set an arbitrary total of construction bots. Uh, total uh, available logistics bots. Okay. So there has to be an available logistic bot, otherwise we'll put more in. Um, but also we'll have some arbitrary limit for construction bots say, uh, 50. 
I'll set the stack size to one so that this will be precise. We will not be putting that one on the green wire. This will be the red wire chest. I guess our ship is humming along nicely. Oh, we're almost there. Iron cordon. Fantastic. And we've used a whopping 4% of our fuel so far. Let's drop... I almost went up here to the console. Let's anchor to this very large planet. And then take off... see what kind of fuel cost that gives us. So we're at 48k, uh, 47.8 actually. Wait, are we still losing antimatter or is it just sloshing about? I think it's just sloshing about. Alright, so 47,853. Launch. Uh, about 7,800 per tank. That's actually, for getting off such a large planet with such a large ship, that's actually really quite cheap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm quite happy with this. Um... I could make the hull stress ever so much smaller to get it to be slightly faster. Maybe we could make the walls on the side here a bit more consistent with this angle here. And accomplish both of those things at once. I guess I would like to copy this part down, maybe? It doesn't have to be strictly the same as this. like that. Maybe even a bit more streamlined back here. More and more of the ships that I make look like giant bullets. It's fine. Uh, I assume that is streamlined. Absolutely. We do need room for a couple of lasers, though. Maybe this one can go here, and that should still keep that gap perfectly well defended. That bit actually sticks out kind of weirdly. Yeah, I can live with that. I think. Alright, let's make the other side the same. I guess you need to be streamlined if you're taking off planets, plus a video game drag, indeed. I mean, I guess even if you were coasting over in interstellar distances, uh, the drag from the interstellar medium would add up to not nothing. But I think it'd be, like, very much trivial compared to what we see here. Okay, I think I like the look of that. Let's go for another little joyride out to... in the direction of Black Mirror. Engage. See how fast we get this time. I 
I don't so much mind the energy shields sticking out um, and just destroying asteroids that wouldn't be a threat compared to the very occasional asteroid hitting the side at the back that we got just once with our player ship. Um, I just wish that despite the energy beam receiver we could cover this gap properly. If this was one tile over, that'd be perfect. But this is okay. It would seem that we're not having any trouble despite the 500 degree steam piling up here. Uh, we're not having any trouble with power. Do the accumulators dip at all? I don't think so. I mean, we can't see that on the graph. Engines... Yeah, we just see a straight line. I'd be very surprised if we were getting any power dips. But we should we should run this thing for a little while, to be sure. I could throw in some media point defenses. But, I mean, we should just build those at the destination anyway. That should be fine. We've only consumed 90 degrees out of our 10,000. Although, once it gets to 5,000, we're actually out. So, I guess it's more like... Uh, it's more like 2% than 1% of our power that we've consumed here, of our stored energy from the beam receiver. I think that'll probably be okay though. We might have to make sure that we pump more power to the beam receiver when the ship is at its destination. Uh, unless it's going to take a while to empty. But we should assume it won't. What's our hull stress now? Uh, it actually dropped below container stress. So unless I want to remove a chest, which I don't, uh, this is as good as it gets. And our speed is 214.38, and showing, again, no signs of having trouble getting through a thick asteroid field. We will need to include a constant combinator, uh, if only for the clamp IDs. I think we were at 371. Let's make this 372. Wait, let me check. Nacritite. I based the ID of the first one on the ID for Nacritite. 370, 371. This can be 372. Uh, so it is specifically Spaceship Right Clamp, 372. And I think it'll be simplest if we just left clamp 372 as well. I have been thinking about a system where I could have um, 
like this ship isn't married to any particular destination and we have a dispatching system. Um, but given the delay with getting ships where they need to go, uh, it might be a bit of an issue. Hey, Vin Shady. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 60 FPS? Yeah, we're in the uh, sandbox just testing this ship before we throw it into our game. Thoroughly testing it against maximum asteroid density. Not to mention making sure the uh, steam blockage doesn't make it stop or anything. We kind of... how much fuel have we got? Well, it doesn't matter, I can cheat some more. Um, let's go as far out as we can. How about... breadcrumbs? <laughs> Alright, we're going to breadcrumbs. Uh, just because I want to run this thing for a long time and make sure we don't get some weird power issue. But I think it's going to work. I quite like the relatively low profile having these engines up here. I guess we could have done that three times, but I don't think that would have worked so well in this design. Is there anything else we want to squeeze into this ship? We've got some hull stress that we can throw in basically for free. Wait, that didn't even cost anything? Okay. I don't think accumulators are going to help us all that much with this ship, though. So what else can we fit in here that's useful? Not really seeing anything jumping out at me. Programmable speaker? I never notice the alerts anyway, there's too many of them. Uh, especially in our main game, that is. I could, I could throw in some lights to indicate how full it is. Except actually we do that at the destination because we need to read the RoboPort network and a bunch of chests to calculate that anyway. Um, don't really need a display for fuel, I don't think. This is all just intermediate products. Artillery, Lamal. I could put more defenses on it, but we just don't need them. I might include spaceship walls in this chest as well. Just to be absolutely sure um, that if we have any problems we can fix this remotely. Or it might even auto-repair. The trouble is if it auto-repairs I, I might not be aware that there's a problem. But I guess if it consistently does that... It, 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 if it goes like a thousand million hours without me finding out that there's a problem... Uh, and it keeps working. Can it really be called a problem, though? 
Oh, how much water do we have? Uh, we've got more water than antimatter fuel, but that is probably mostly because we took off from a 8,000 radius planet. But I think, judging by the look of it, we've actually got a really good ratio of water to antimatter stream here. So that's probably fine. Oh, I know. Um, okay, roughly, I'm pretty sure we're going to have more than enough sulfuric acid to fill these ships. Uh, but I remember our deep space miner ship. Let's see, it's got 28 chests that we fill with naquitite uh, and one sulfuric acid tank. I think about half of it was enough to fill this. Uh, we've got, like, 33. It's not that different, although it is much, 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 much faster. Um, and it can land directly on big planets, so we don't need to set up some overly complicated and expensive logistics with cannons and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think the storage tank is going to be way more than enough to fill this with Naquitite. Pretty sure. This is... We're about halfway there, almost. More like 40%. But more to the point, uh, if we've come this far, I very much doubt that we're going to have power issues. We do bottleneck on the output of 500 degrees steam, but that effectively just gives us like a bit more than two thirds of one gigawatt max power. And considering that, except for when the shields do their thing, we're just hovering here. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Also, does it actually dip into the accumulators when that happens? It does. So we do need some accumulators, um, but four would appear to be way more than enough. And that's just Holmium accumulators, which are cheap as chips at this stage of the game. Cool. I think that is our ship. Now we just need to build uh, a station for it, for drop-off. I could do that in the super editor, why not? Nice and quick. Let's go to Nalvis. And I can actually do this mostly remotely. Let's save the ship design first. We've got all the circuits set up, I think. Um, so it built his blacklist, plus 49. Available logistic bots versus total construction bots. Uh, should probably turn off my exoskeleton legs. Chests are all connected properly, I think. Not to mention one of each fluid container. Although, especially if we're only going to resupply antimatter from the right side. Well, no, even if we don't, we should probably read one of the tanks that's closer to the middle. Uh, like, as far away from our... I don't like that wire sticking out, though. It's not going to make that much of a difference. This is fine. 
why on stream 50 people but in chat only me? It dips and certain hours of the day there's a lot more people chatting as well. Uh, start of the stream is usually by far one of the quietest parts. Seeker, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Locus as well, yeah. There's an explosion in chat whenever I take a break and do words on stream as well. The Merrimex, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, so on Nalvis, um... Oh yeah, I was about to blueprint this for a couple of reasons. Um, so this is going to be our 1,000 hull hauler, and what symbols do I want here? This will do, probably. Spaceships? No, I'll change it. Uh, I'll change it up a bit. Let's put this here. Give it an antimatter engine symbol. Okay. Hey, El Puncho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we shouldn't have any issue. I might just delete this, actually. We shouldn't have any issue fitting that into a rail block. Not even close. Um, but I think... There's two ideas I have here. Um, I could do two drop-offs in the one uh, rail block. Or... The trouble is that's going to make it difficult to deduce... Nah, it's fine. We're going to do one drop-off for each rail block. So probably about here. I don't really need all this here, just the spaceship floor. Actually, no, I, I kind of do, because I want to see where the... Uh, where the pipes go, not to mention the clamp. Uh, why does this move so slowly? Well, whatever the case. Uh, we're gonna have... Antimatter stream, water, and sulfuric acid. Um, I might just put these here for the moment, if only so that I know which is which. And some pumps. We need to limit the water to being not quite full. Please say, hey guys in Russian. Uh, let me see. Let me let me make sure, because I don't speak Russian. English to Russian. It doesn't tell me. No, it thinks it's Spanish. O-F? Alright, what do we got? Um, water, antimatter... Well, I don't really care if this is filled up right now. Um, I want to put some concrete. I, I wish it wouldn't do this slow panning thing when we're in hyper... when we're in uh, super speed for some reason. So we're just doing this to mark where the spaceship goes. 
Uh, is this tile... Nothing. Okay. I just want to be absolutely sure before I place those. So all the diagonal ones actually don't have spaceship floor. Yes, I could copy paste flip this. And down here. How close are we? Oh, we're here. And a tour, normal speed. And clamp ID is 372. So we should be able to... I guess it's not going to auto clamp unless we're sending it there with a signal. Is the trick to say hey guys in a Russian accent and then you have the correct pronounce pronunciation of that? Stop it bones? Stop it bones. Um, I think I'd like to have a little bit more hazard concrete here. If only for the look of it, the thing. Although, I don't know why it's not... Doesn't it normally give us a diagonal? Or is that only at the borders of other types of floors? The spaceship floor gave us... I can't walk through this. And I can squeeze through this. I bet an asteroid can get through here. But given the number of lasers that are covering that spot, I think it'll probably be fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I bet if I put, like, stone brick or something over here, it becomes a diagonal. Okay. kind of like the look of that, actually. And we... But then this part becomes squarish. I have to fill the whole block in with, uh, with concrete or something, just for the aesthetic. What the... Oh, that's fine. Yeah, concrete basically has the same effect. Oh, I'm just not going to worry about that. Um, but I do think this should be a bit wider. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed it is. Can't quite see this here. Can I switch these off? Oh, it's R to switch them off. You can only rotate them when you're placing them. Could put this here, I guess. And then... Tiles... Only... Wait, why does this snap? No, I don't want that to snap. Get out of here, snap to grid. Go home, you're drunk. 
Uh, where did that blueprint go though? Here we go. So if I put that here, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay. But enough mucking around. Uh, let's figure out the train stops. We can fit rail very easily all the way around. I think I'd like to put the antimatter here. Need some signals. I'm not terribly concerned that this train and this train will be blocking each other. That's not gonna... We're not gonna have that much traffic that often. Don't know where I'm going to put some of these power poles, though. Or maybe I could line things up so that... Nope, never mind. These pumps are going to need their own power, regardless. On the north and south sides, we've got power reaching all the way to the ship. Alright, so what if we put... What do we need to supply here? Three fluids. Uh, water can be pumped in from either side, but we need to read it from here. And I don't think we're ever going to have to pump water in particularly quickly. Compared to how quickly we're going to be consuming it. I could get rid of these pipes over here. Uh, sulfuric acid. We're pumping that in unconditionally. Same goes for the antimatter. It's a lot of antimatter. In maximum. We probably... Uh, I, th I think I will set it up so that we... Pump this stuff in with a vengeance. Um... It also gives us an excuse to put our poles here anyway. So... Something like this. The symmetry. This part right here isn't going to be connected when the ship comes and goes. At least, not reliably. I can live with that. We may as well connect the power system to here as well. Although, I suppose... We're going to be receiving heat while it's here. Uh, and consuming water very slowly. So it probably doesn't really matter if it if this power plant kicks in. Well, either way, it can supply power to the entire grid. If it does want to do something. I could make this door a little bit... Actually, what's our hull stress? It is below container stress, so I really don't care about adding a little bit more. Since it's basically free. I guess I could add a door on the other side as well. And then... I might actually, just for once, put the antimatter drop-off uh, somewhere like here. 
Oh, is that actually perfectly centered compared to the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this a lot. Okay, cool. Let's add some regular old storage tanks. I don't really want to waste Naquium on just double density tanks here. We've got all the space we need. Uh, since a ship can theoretically hold four train... Well, I mean, it will hold, but we won't be needing to resupply it that quickly, but still. Uh, I would like to have enough antimatter stored here to fill up a ship if we have to. Especially since we'll be filling up one ship after the next. I could add some antimatter resupply up here, but I really don't want to do that to the ship. A uh, space pipe, perhaps? It doesn't quite line up. Unless. And then a f mm, that's an even number. What if it wasn't an even number? Uh, that's not going to reach over here, is it? No. If I put it closer... I don't think I hate the look of that. And then we can have our lovely... measured pipe here. And it should be the exact same thing on the opposite side. It's one off. How dare you? Wait, no, didn't I put this closer? Yeah, 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 that's that's totally fine. Alright, cool. Um, we need this to be connected by circuit wire to... Looks kind of weird, actually. How about this? And then on the opposite side... That's our water. Uh, maybe I could put the water drop-off up here? It's not going to be perfectly symmetrical because rail asymmetry. But, uh, actually, why? Yeah, no, it's going to be one-off. Rip. Hey, Raren. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I suppose... There's not going to be some magic, super neat spot for this, is there? And we were doing so well. Okay. Um, that can go there. We need a drop-off for a short train. A trash station. And... A long train for picking up Naquitite. The only thing I'm not liking here is how far the bots would have to go to pick up, to take the Naquitite uh, out of the ship and over to the train stop. Um, and I'd love to have an intermediate uh, like a, a middle storage system between this and the drop-off itself, but we can't get buffer chests. We, we can only request from buffer chests to requester chests, and requester chests you can't take out of them with bots. Hey, Noxyway Gaming, 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just put the train into your ship. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit very well. Also, I mean, maybe. Uh, can't really... Well, I've got blueprints for these right here. It would be a little awkward. Maybe in future we'll build some huge ships that take trains. Okay. Um, I kind of like antimatter being here and water being here, though. I hope we can pull that off without without it looking weird or anything. Oops. Do I not have... I have no hotbar stuff in this save. How many tiles is this? Exactly seven. I can live with that. That's sulfuric acid, actually. There we go. So this station is going to provide water. I mean, request water from the rail network. This one looks kind of weird, actually. What about this? Uh, 100k request threshold. Probably long trains only for this one. I mean, short trains are fine for fluids, but... Yeah, as long as it's 100k request threshold, that's fine. And we're looking for antimatter stream, uh, 400k. Uh, and I can request just a little bit more because, well, how much more can I request? Let's assume there's no ship here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve hundred, plus four hundred times four, sixteen hundred. Oops. We can fit another two thousand eight hundred, uh, and then plus six hundred as well because of these. Uh, thirty-four hundred. So if we look for... 403,000 with the request threshold that is a full train that should be safe uh, we should get that pretty much filled up to the brim We'll do the same thing with water. Seems good. I guess I could have put these tanks over here so it would unload extra quickly. But I don't think that's really necessary. Unloading fluid is already very, very quick. Uh, what's next? We need to bring miscellaneous things. That means a small train. We need a trash station, just in case stuff that's not supposed to be here gets removed. That is a vanilla stop for small trains. 
And we need a train station to take away the Nacrotite. Um, the only trouble is, unless I do something different, which I might, with the rail... I might do it over here. Let's actually get rid of... Oops. Let's get rid of this rail here. Not that one. For no particular reason other than it's following the convention of what I've done before with the output on the left. I guess that might be a problem signal-wise. Not really. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we can have this station nice and close. station come, uh, train rather, come in this way. I want the middle of the train as close to most of these chests as possible. And then requested chests. I did, I did have some grand ideas about uh, kind of like a universal drop-off station where... Well, how many different resources do we go and get in spaceships? There's core fragments. Uh, up to 13, theoretically. I mean, not theoretically, we are actually doing it, although this one is just already on Nauvoo, so that's 12. 12 different core fragments. I think we had like 11, or at the most 12 different things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven that came out of the Omni Smelter. And we just barely managed to do it by controlling how much we put in these chests so that we could have a fast loader that made all these things from the logistic network available. If we have something dynamic that'll take anything from the logistic network uh, it really slows things down a bit. So I guess we'll probably just go for... Uh, what am I doing? Nacrotite. 480. I need to read all of these chests. Especially considering it's Nacrotite, I don't think... I don't think we're going to need more than this. But we could, if we want to, add uh, more here. It's not really an issue. The bots should keep it fairly well balanced. I could limit it to force them to keep it extra balanced. 
but it'll sort itself out regardless. We don't have to do a precise load or anything like that. Uh, fighter station. Provide stack threshold 160. That should really... Let me just update this, actually. Oh, that's active. I think there's no reason to limit trains when it comes to pickup at all. So that can be our default. Okay. Um, so we've got input, input. Oh, we need sulfuric acid as well. Uh, I could do that up here as well. We're not going to need... Well, actually... We don't need nearly as much maximum water here either, but I kind of like the somewhat symmetry of it. And it certainly doesn't hurt to have more. Um, but we're going to have sulfuric acid here as well. Very easy uh, to do a multi-loader station. Let's just go for like 180k. Shouldn't even need that much. Uh, yeah, very easy to do a multi-unloader station for these two fluids. Uh, all we have to do is read from the logistic train stop output, and whenever we get a train arriving here, uh, it's going to have a signal of negative one for whichever fluid it's trying to get rid of. So sulfuric acid less than zero, and water less than zero. And if it was picking something up, that'd be a positive number, based on how much it's looking for. Hi, Mr. Strimmer. Nice stream. Beep, beep, boop. I mean, beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I kind of, sort of, forgot to make this, this part serviceable. I think I would rather have the pump over here and a couple of undergrounds like that than have to do an underground here. This lines up the same, so we'd have to do a weird kind of squiggly pipe anyway. Does it really have a negative signal for drop-offs? Is that another magic LTN setting? It is a... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a default LTN setting. I didn't do anything to change that. Um, it's just something that happens. This is an even number of tiles. How dare you? Uh, I think it's eight. Whoops. Yeah, it's eight. Actually, I want a pump. I was going to say I want a pump up there, but... We're not going to need sulfuric acid at that high of a throughput. On the other hand, um, could put it up here, but this is already a good fit. Why don't we just do it like that? Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no, that I didn't change any LTN settings to make that happen. It's just something that it does. Okay, so we have three fluid inputs. We have Naquim output. We need to bring bots, media defense ammo, repair packs, and so on. 
I think all that's missing is the short train stuff. Which... You know what, if we're doing this on this side, I think for the sake of symmetry, uh, I would like to make it symmetrical. Okay, this goes here. And did we run out of room? I think we're okay. There is a bit of unused space here, but what are you going to do? I want some superchargers that are not going to stick out of this rope, uh, rail block. So here is the limit. I don't think we're going to need them to be that high, uh, that far away from the center, actually. Although this is sticking onto the hazard concrete. But I can live with that. Unfortunately, the RoboPort, the bots are going to use the RoboPort quite a lot. Probably. Which means they're going to charge slowly, sometimes. Uh, I could put another one over here, I guess. Except... I can probably live with that. Or better yet, I guess we'll bite the bullet and do some underground pipe here. Oh, I forgot I could be using regular pipe for this part. Except I don't like it if the regular pipe connects up with the long pipe, because it looks weird. Is this the same height? Yeah, it is. Uh... Is there any reason for it to be? Just that pipe over there. This is fine, actually. Probably. Let's see how this lines up. No. Okay. I see how it is. We're just going to have to live with some different colored pipes. I'll survive. Uh, we will actually need some regular RoboPorts. If only for the bots to have a home, and for the short train to be able to drop them off. Uh, that's one tile off being ideal. What if we put this over here? It's going to stick out. I don't want it to stick out. I could put it up here somewhere, have another bit of underground pipe. I would like to have... Let's see. Logistic bot goes here, everything else goes here. Let me just put this over here and design that, and then we'll move it somewhere. Roboport. 
two tiles away, or maybe even up this way. Uh, actually, I can't make that a green chest because green chests won't take from green chests. Maybe a passive? Hmm. I kind of want the... Oh, I remember how I did this. This is a storage chest with a construction bot filter. The inserter doesn't care about that filter, but the logistic bots do. Um, so if we put everything else into a purple chest, those will get put up there immediately. And then... Because we are doing the set requests thing, we need to have a RoboPort that reads uh, Logistic Network Contents. As opposed to Robot Statistics. So we'll need a whole other RoboPort for that. Uh, where am I going to do this, actually? Probably nice and close to the spaceship clamp, because that's where I like to do the logic. I could do it on the other side, since we've got this uh, pylon substation just for the circuit wire. Well, mostly for the circuit wire, I guess. It's also providing power. Uh, so, what are our conditions for takeoff? Um, first of all, aquatite in the ship has to equal zero. That's going to be one green signal. Uh, antimatter in one of these storage tanks should be very high, greater than 49,900. Greater than or equal. Uh, water. We also need. Actually. Sulfuric acid, water, and antimatter. Sulfuric acid. Yeah, why don't we check for that? I mean, I'm sure we won't run out, but I would rather be safe. So make sure that's above, let's say, it's actually... Oh, there's no sulfuric acid here. Alright. Uh, let's make sure... Um, I don't think that's going to have any trouble getting it to 24,900. And water should be greater than, uh, well, we set, we set this to, has to be less than 24,500, um, but it always goes over, wait, what? Oh, in this tank? Wait, which one re were you reading from? Water, 24k, uh, and we've also got this one pumping in. So if anything, we're more likely to get extra. Are we only reading from one of the tanks? Yes. Um, we need to limit it so that there's room for the fluids to cycle around. But I also want to make sure it's as full as it's going to get. If I say greater than or equal to 24,500, I guess that should be fine. Technically, we could pump like a fraction of one water in. But 
uh, in reality it pumps in a significant amount of extra before it actually stops. Yeah, there, there it goes. It's actually... Yeah, we did stop pumping. But this one is still increasing a little bit. 24,740. Well, that should still work in any case. Um, and then... Alright, so sulfuric acid, full, water, full, antimatter string, full, and nacrophyte equals zero. Uh, all of these conditions have to be met before we take off. Um, we could also have one that checks for everything that we're supposed to be putting into this chest over here. And for that one, it's going to be everything greater than or equal to zero. And we're going to have a constant combinator. Uh, that'll be a negative for everything that's supposed to be in there. And I guess if we if we use an arithmetic combinator, um, we can save ourselves the trouble of uh, making two combinators for this. I mean, two constant combinators. So, red wire. Uh, the things that we want in this chest are... A stack of each type of bot, at least. Lower it by three, just because the bots are known to oversupply it. Um, is that working? No? Oh, did I not put a red wire here? There we go. Probably it will deliver those. No, we're actually not in a robot network that has them. What is this sandbox place? Is it in your regular game? Uh, no, it's part of the editor extensions mod, you can create a new game that has this, uh, uh, these lamp tiles and such. Okay, so we've got our requests here. If we multiply that by negative one, we'll have negatives for everything that's supposed to be in there and then when we read how much is in the ship and add it to that that's positive uh and then let me use a red wire for that actually uh it'll do an implicit addition and subtraction if we just put both of those inputs there um and then if everything is greater than or equal to zero we can check for several conditions to be met with that. Are you making a blueprint for your main game? Yes. This is going to be our next generation of mining ship. Uh, can I not reach that? Wait, what? Oh, there it goes. I'm thinking... It wouldn't let me place that. Yeah. Oh, the bots actually can't place it either. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Anyway, we've got the blueprint for our ship. We don't need to leave those switched on. Okay. Um, and... We're not looking at what's in these chests. That's fine. But we do need to have a bunch of... Where exactly do I want to put this? I think we've got room here. Yeah, I can't put this RoboPort two tiles to the left. 
without messing with uh, these pipes. So I think we'll go for something like this. Um, and then just a bunch of storage chests here. I suppose I could put this down here for the look of it. So, uh, robo uh, logistic bots go in here. Everything else goes in the purple chest. This is actually filtered for construction bots, so the logistic bot will get put into the robot network, and then it'll pick up construction bots from here and put them here as well. Uh, and because this is a storage chest, it'll be available for this buffer chest to request something. Uh, okay, so we are going to need one more robo port, unfortunately, even though the only thing it's here for is uh, getting this signal instead of the robot statistics. We're going to go total construction bots, available logistic bots, and set filters blacklist. So that'll put a couple of construction bots into the network. Which should be more than we ever need, to be honest. Um, and it'll keep putting logistic bots in until we have enough of them to keep up. Is there anything you can do to prep the ship before it takes off? Like heat the engines up or something? Uh, not really, although we do have to make sure there's enough heat in these energy beam receivers. And unfortunately, we don't have a way to measure that directly. Unless I add a container for steam, which unfortunately has to be 3x3, three three, so I'm not going to do that. By Cal, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Two months. Thank you. Which blueprint sandbox mod are you using? It's called Editor Extensions. Editor Extensions. Very nice mod. Uh, okay, so... What we need to do here... Uh, let me just put a power pole so I can connect this. We need to read logistic network contents and we need to subtract everything that's in these chests. Come to think of it, I need to check if putting something in here... It does. Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, we are going to read the contents of... What the... Get out of here. We're going to read the contents of all of these chests. Uh, should be default read contents. Actually, there's nothing else we can do with circuitry with these things. Alright, so apart from the requester chests, which don't count as being in the logistic network, um, as far as this count goes, the entire logistic network uh, is contained in these chests, plus the spaceship. So if we just read everything that's in these chests, uh, each, whoops, each times negative one, output each, and connect both of these things here. Uh, on this power pole, we're going to have a result that is everything that's in the spaceship. So if I shove some bricks or plate or something in here, we're not going to get that signal, because we've got... Uh, let me just demonstrate. 100 iron plate uh, coming from here. Negative 100 iron plate coming from here. But if we put something in this chest, it's going to tell us that we've got 100 iron plate. So even though we can't directly set requests and read contents at the same time, uh, if we have a very specific robot network setup, 
with reading all of these chests, we can... We can figure out what is in the ship that way. Is stuff in requester chests not shown in the network? It is not. I'll demonstrate it. Iron plate, in you go. Uh, power pole. Read logistic network contents. No other wire connections, nothing up my sleeve, and you can see that it's not showing up. Because it's in a dead end, it's basically, it's effectively not in the logistic network anymore. The bots are never going to pick it up. Uh, and that helps us with this, uh, with this system as well. Okay, so... Uh... Well, we actually need the green wire from the ship to read the fluids, but we need a different wire to read the other stuff. So this goes here. All three of these conditions are met. I understand the reason now you mention it. It's not available. Yeah, that's it. And then... What was this for? Oh, right. I was setting the requests and also... I think I want to put this about here. So if we have red wire going from this constant combinator to this chest, we're requesting these things. Multiply that by negative one. I wish I could somehow piggyback off this one, because these two combinators are the same, but no. Uh, we're going to get the amount of stuff that we're requesting to put into that chest here. And on, let's say, the red wire, we're going to have the contents of the ship. So if we put uh, 47 of each type of bot into that that's rude. How dare you. Uh, give to me some bots, please. I can activate cheats and just have infinite of everything here, um, but it resets the energy weapon research to something much higher than what we've got in our game, and then I have to come back and open this up with editor mode and unresearch stuff. It's a little bit of a hassle. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, uh, it's got something to do with the nav satellite, um, but it keeps undoing the slash cheats. And if I activate them again, it, it has that consequence. So I just put down infinity chests, for example, to get this done. Alright, so we definitely have more than 47 of each of these in the chest. And we can see here we've got positive numbers for those two items. And we also want to know that Naquitite equals zero. So now all of these conditions are met. Uh, I'll put this up here, actually. That's pretty clean, right? That's pretty readable, I think. The red wire... It doesn't have to be a red wire, actually, but... You know what? Oh, no, because it connects up here as well. And I don't know if I want it to... cross-contaminate with this signal. But yeah, green wire here is the fluids, um, not to mention the set requests that we're going to be doing 
Well, actually... I don't think we're going to be setting requests on this side um, for these ships, but we could. Uh, if I wanted all of these uh, chests to take a little bit of water ice with them, for example, we could just do that. But we're probably just going to have that requesting Nacrotype at the other end. So that's the reason for buffer chests as well, which would be counted then. Uh, yes, and it's also the only chest that we can both put stuff into and take stuff out of with the bots. Really. What does the blue combinator do? Uh, this one? That is a crafting combinator. That's another mod. So normally, for example... With the vanilla furnaces, we can do... Uh, let me just do something here. It would take a minute to set this up, but why not? It's practice. Um, we can do... Stack Filter Inserter. Uh, whitelist? Yeah, whitelist. Constant Combinator, read this chest, whoops, and we can go Iron Plate, negative four, set filters whitelist. Uh, if we, if we carefully control what gets put into this furnace. Uh, we can control the recipe that way, but industrial furnace, not so much, because you have to set recipes. But this mod comes to the rescue. Um, we can just feed it a signal. Uh, we can give it, for example, iron plate. And it's going to try to make iron plate. It's also got uh, a set of combinator recipe signals that are specifically for things like iron plate, uh, let's say glass, oh here it is, iron plate but with uh, vulcanite blocks as well. Uh, which has confused me a few times because I've gone searching for ice and clicked on the first thing that looked like ice, and then realized later it's recipe water ice. We ran into that yesterday, actually. Uh, my ships weren't taking off because they didn't have 197 recipe water ice, which is not actually possible to put into the ship. Uh, but yeah, it's a good mod, regardless. You can have it uh, read or write recipes, um... You can have a chest that is going to be, when it changes recipes or something, everything that's in the machine is going to be dumped out to this. Uh, Plizzit, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's a good mod. Oh, uh, one thing to watch out for if you do this, if you do use this mod, there is a recipe combinator. Uh, and what this does is, if you, well, uh, one of the things it can do, it's actually got quite a few settings. Uh, but the main, the only reason, th the only thing I've used it for is find ingredients for a recipe. So that, for example, we can, uh, let's say we want to... make iron plate all of a sudden. We can uh, figure out what we need to make iron plate and put it into this chest. However, if we mouse over this, it says that there's no output signal. So it's broken. Just kidding, it's a trick. Uh, it turns out, for some reason, and I've never seen this anywhere else, uh, if you mouse over it and look for output signals, this combinator doesn't show them. 
but they are there. So that's outputting iron ore, not to mention a signal for how long it takes to smelt, I think. So if we put that there, set requests, um, the bots are going to bring iron ore. Uh, the only other issue I've run into with Crafting Combinator, there was one where it was generating free modules in the module chest, but I think they, I'm pretty sure they fixed that. Um, but also, occasionally I see a Combinator like this saying, no overflow chest, I think. There's some red text that hovers above it. Um, but if I just rotate this around, it fixes itself. So that's not that big of a deal. Uh, and I could be wrong, but I think once a combinator has that bug and then you rotate it, it doesn't do it again. But because we've got so many, um, we occasionally have to fix that. What about the arithmetic combinator? Uh, what about it? Do you mean the, the one that looks like the arithmetic? That's the recipe combinator. It just weirdly doesn't have its own graphic here. Yeah, so that's actually a recipe combinator. The vanilla one? Uh, the arithmetic combinator does arithmetic. That, that's what it does. Alright, what else do we need in our ships? Um, we want them to be able to repair or maintain outposts or even expand them. So, a little bit of this. What is this stack to? 10? So we set it to 7 so that it doesn't go over the stack size. Um, what else? Repair packs. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, media defense. Uh, media point defense and ammo. Let's put that here, actually. And what's the stack size for this? 50? That's a lot. I'd rather have more than we need, though. No, nope, I've heard the name. I understand. Thank you. No worries. Uh, and then... Well, we can, we can figure this out more in our game. I'll, I'll probably set the request for media point defense to be... Uh, the ammo to be, like whatever room we have left over in the chest. We also want to bring ice though, definitely, because these things are always going to outposts where there's no solar power, um, so they have to run off of turbines like this. Let's see, that, that's the main thing though. Oh, uh, modules, beacons, and mines, and the chests that the mines need. What is this stack to? 25? I don't think we need that many. Uh, and I did have them carrying a whole bunch of stuff, like so that they could theoretically fix the entire outpost, but I'm feeling like that's a little bit overkill, especially now that we can get back out there so quickly uh, to fix it. I might just not with that. But I do want them to be able to expand an outpost without any issue. Uh, so we need... It really was overkill asking for a stack of these, though. Not so much the productivity modules. How much goes in one of those beacons? Um, tier 2 beacon... Hmm. 
it was always seven speeds and the rest was... I'm not falling into the trap of dropping the speed nines in. We don't have those yet, not really. Give to me some sixes. And it was like all efficiency but seven speeds, I think. Uh, how do I put down some iron or something? Here we go. Nope. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. And then we can put down a mining drill. Throw some prods in it. Uh, and that is still minus 80%. Yeah, that should be right. Oh, uh, whoops, wrong one. No, that's still minus 80%. Wait, what? Oh, because the... Because the drills are a little bit different. Wait, no, they've got four modules. That's minus 40%, actually. It's probably better, to be honest. Yeah, I can I can live with 300 kilowatts uh, per drill. Anyway, uh, we only need like 8 and 7. I think I don't mind having... enough to make one beacon in each of these ships. And then prod modules, pretty much an entire stack. Then again, maybe I only really need to have Hmm. Maybe I should just have each ship carrying enough to expand just a little bit. I mean, I definitely don't mind having overkill resupply of this stuff. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 stacks. Um... Let's just send, like, 20 stacks of ammo. Uh, so just under a thousand. And... I don't think there's really anything else. I'm sure we'll think of it eventually. I could also add, like, if I was going to super standardize this, I could add all sorts of things like uh, core mining drills for some of those other outposts and so on, but I don't think that's necessary. Like I said before, we can get to our outposts to fix things so much more easily now, so much quicker. So I don't think we need to take every possible thing that could break. Sorry, I did not get it. Editor extension allows you to have a lab like that where you can move into? Or is that another save? It's another save. So if I go to, like, new game, uh, if I've got the editor extensions mod active, this is one of the scenarios that you can pick. What is that? Entity name logistic train stop lamp control. I don't know how we got 50 of those. And I don't know where the bots just took them. Uh, okay. That's fine. 
We need to set our requests for the short train. And we need a trash train. Um, we can actually take advantage of this RoboPort for that. So we're going to have a vanilla train stop right about here. And... Uh, request a chest. And this is just going to... what the... oh, I thought I was in navigator mode. We're going to set requests for the entire logistic network. I guess we don't need to request from buffer chests in this instance. Uh, but more to the point, we're going to set requests for the entire logistic network, and then put a constant combinator here. Connect with, I guess, red or green wire wouldn't matter. Um, let's just do this. And we're just going to have negative a million for anything that's allowed to be here. So that would be robots. Uh, on the other hand, I could... Hmm. I could either... I'm going to need to have this combinator to say, don't get rid of the Naquitite, regardless. But I could also connect it to our requests for whatever up here. I think I'll just copy this combinator and add something to it, actually. Alright, request stack threshold. I think we'll just have a request threshold of one for this. Certain items are very low throughput. Um... So we need robots. We need construction bots. We need robo ports. Uh, these are cheap. We need superchargers. What else? Uh, media, point defense things, repair packs, ice, pretty much everything on this. Repair pack, ice, uh, Modules and modules, beacons. I almost forgot. Uh, I, I almost forgot the mines. I'll put those down here. Where am I looking? Modules, probably a hundred of each should be sufficient. We're not going to be actually deploying them that often. Beacon. I think that's a stack. Yep. Uh, and then meteor defenses. Point defenses, that is, because... They use that much less power, and we only need to cover a small space. Make that two stacks, just in case we have to load up one of these trains quickly. Oh, and those need to be negatives. Whoops.
Seems good. And then we pretty much just take that. Remove the train stuff. Uh, if I leave it where it is, these are going to be strict limits, so anything excess is going to be taken out. And given the bot's tendency to pick up three things at a time, it's probably going to create a cycle. Uh, so I'm just going to change those to negative a million. Or I could just set it a bit higher so that if we somehow got a million, uh, like, lots and lots of bots here. Uh, the excess would get taken away. But I don't really want to bother with that. Um, and the way that works, if that isn't clear, is if I set this to negative a thousand, and we've got a thousand... 100 robots stored here in chests. We're going to get a signal of 1100 from the uh, logistic, uh, the roboport, and we're going to get a signal of negative 1000 uh, logistic bots here. That implicitly gets added together, so we end up with 100. So it's going to request 100 logistic bots be put into this chest. Uh, but yeah, I don't actually want to do that this time. So I think that is pretty much done. Uh, did I set? Yeah, yeah, I think I did. Station names. This is actually water and sulfuric acid. And this is just antimatter. Uh, I could definitely stand to add a few signals here. Come to think of it, um, this actually fits a train so they don't have to block each other. I could add more signals there, I'm not going to. So we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And short trains both go to the same stop, uh, spot. There's no need to signal that. Okay, uh, and this will be our typical trash pickup. Make that yellow. We are going to need a combinator, unfortunately, because... Oh, we need another chest as well just for the fact that we can't set requests and read contents at the same time. And we already used our trick to get around that to figure out what's in the ship. What the... Oh, because I... Yeah, no, that's fine. Alright, so because setting... Normally, I would just set this to read the contents of the chest, and if anything greater than zero, the train stop is enabled. But that actually does messed up things with um, train pathing. If you get a train here, and the inserter... If, if, this che if this chest keeps going from empty to not empty while the train is here, uh, you get some... You get like a dozen trains repathing every time it swings, and you get some really nasty lurches. So, unfortunately, we need a whole combinator just to turn anything into 
a signal that will determine train limit. So if anything greater than zero, we're going to output one L to the train stop. Which it's currently doing, actually, because there's random crap in there. And that is pretty much that. We don't really need to send a train, not that it makes any difference. We do need to let LTN know what is already at this station. Otherwise, it'll just keep sending things until the end of time. And I think that's going to be pretty much it. Let's get the spaceship out of the way. We've already blueprinted it. Um, let's get this out of the way of our... Whoop! Our new blueprint. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Tiles, train stop names. Uh, what happened to? Did I remove them? No, I didn't. I don't know why I couldn't see the cheaty fluid pipes in that blueprint just now. Tiles, train stop names. Summith, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Generic clamp, yep, that's normal. Oh, one other little thing about the Crafting Combinator mod is occasionally you'll get, um, there's an entity called something like Crafting Combinator Settings. It looks like a blueprint. Uh, it's invisible, but when you blueprint it, you can see it. Uh, and it just sort of gets left behind sometimes when a Crafting Combinator is removed. Uh, but you can fix that just by... Maybe I can find one. Oh, this is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find one on this save, actually. Uh, but you'll see, if you highlight it like this, there's a little plus. And if you just put a crafting combinator down, like so, and then pick it up, uh, it'll actually get rid of it. Uh, even better than that, you can just put a ghost down and then remove the ghost, and that'll that's all it takes to fix that. Back in the test world, I see. Yep, we're almost done here. Uh, just making a nice new ship and a place for it to drop off its stuff. Uh, so, blueprint. Tiles and train stop names. And this is going to be Naquitite drop off. Oh, um, I didn't completely finish the circuitry, but that's okay. Where am I going to put this? Space exploration, spaceships, and these two actually go together. Maybe I should make a book for them. Cool. I might just save that. And let's jump back into our game.
I want to give SE a go sometime. It is a good time, but it's uh it's a big big uh challenge. I really enjoy the spaceships. I do wish uh, we had the space elevator, though. But now that we've got to antimatter, that won't really matter for much longer. Okay, so we need to trim this. I'm so curious to see what we will come up with in the expansion. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, oh, I forgot we're actually in a different place. Uh, we've got a planet beneath us that we flew all the way out here from Nalvis, just because we possibly didn't have enough fuel to pull this off when we were back here. I'm pretty sure every other planet in this system that has a mysterious structure we have visited. Wait, what? Oh no, we haven't visited this one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it does have biters, so we need to be just a little bit careful. Bombato. Uh, sometimes when we look at the surface, we don't find the pyramid straight away. But we can go to the Informatron if that's the case. Oh, there it is. And no biters in sight by the look of it. Unless they're hidden by these red splotches on the map. Oh, there's some. We'll leave them be. Anchor. Make sure we've got our lasers. We do not have our lasers. Those are laser turrets. There we go. And we should be good to go. We seem to get far fewer prod modules out of this than other things, but maybe it's just the luck of where we've been so far. Oh, there's still a biter. Wait, there's still a spawner? How did I miss that? No worries. Alright, let's step outside so the janitor can do their job. Thank you, janitor. Actually, let's get this rock out of the way as well. I don't have robots. Alright, selfie time. Get out of here, 20 plus 20 stone. There we go. Screenshot taken. Let's get into orbit again. I know it's definitely no threat over here, but I'd rather not have to think about it. And I'm gonna save that screenshot. How nice that the janitor comes all the way out here just to clean up the corpses. Yeah, absolutely. All right, this was... Bombato. .jpg. And I'm going to throw that into the Discord. If anyone's interested in trying to crack the code, assuming there is one. Uh, I have been meaning to dig up the coordinates for these planets in case that is relevant as well. But I haven't gotten around to it yet. 
What is this pyramid thing? I remember seeing it for the first time and walking in. That was scary. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders. Uh, I think they're always... I don't, I don't know if they are always fully evolved, or if they just happened to be fully evolved by the time I got there. Uh, neither would surprise me. I mean, it almost has to be one or the other, right? Uh, we haven't been to Anson, and I'm sure we've got plenty of fuel still. Yep, quite good. Most of our fuel was probably from taking off. Actually, that planet's not as big as I rem as I thought it was. Oh well, let's go to Anson. Away we go. And yeah, uh, it's literally called a mysterious structure. We don't know what it is. Alright, let's throw down our blueprint. Um, I actually changed a couple of things though. We're getting some red... I think the rest of that red is just because we don't have spaceship floor. I wanted to get rid of these as well. Um, and I think we need... This thing's almost ready to go. Actually, it is ready to go. Let's name it, if it's not named already, the Snack. That's a no. Uh, what number of oblong ship are we up to? Ten? Okay, I think this will be the last one. Regardless, this is going to be the last one for this design, since we're going to start making these instead. Oblong eleven? I'm surprised we still haven't uh, reached peak spaceship going to Oblong and back uh, so that we're bottlenecked on the mines. Not the snack? Indeed. The snack. Let's send you to Nalvas. You know, now that I think about it, um, with all the extra space we've got here, combined with the fact that Naquitite has such a small stack size, maybe it would be better if we processed the Naquitite here. Something to think about. So I'm pretty sure that is all. You know what, just to be sure, I'm gonna remove all the chests uh, and everything with wires here because I think what I had before might have had some wire connections that's gonna mess up what we're doing. Potentially. Or at least crushing it. Crushed it probably is the most space efficient. Uh, maybe. Let's see. We get a stack size of 10 for Naquitite itself. We crush it, and the stack size is still only 10. But it becomes... one become uh, 4 becomes 1. So that's four times as dense. And then two crushed necrotite becomes two washed necrotite. 
which has probably got the same stack size. That is 10 as well. Except we get more because of productivity bonuses, so crushed necrotite is still winning for density. Uh, plus 56% productivity bonus. Even if it was plus 100%, it would be twice as uh, space efficient when it's crushed. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Squish it until it's more space efficient. Naquim powder stack size is 10 as well. Uh, and everything else, this is 10, this is 20. But we get... If we trans transport it as ingots... Uh, and then turn it into plate, that's more stack effective, I think. Yeah, even without the prods. Except we can't do prods in space, so we turn that into plate here, and put both of those into space. Alright, uh, I think I am going to have a short break right about now. Let's just make sure I'm going to the right place. Um, A-N-S-O-N. -N. Cool. Let's fire up... Actually, before I do, I want to get... How full are you? Way too full. Get these spiders moving back home. And... Uh, I want an energy beam pointed at that ship. Can we borrow this one? Yeah, there we go. It's going to take a while to warm up. Um, we want it at 10,000 degrees before it goes anywhere. Ideally. Also, I should probably... Well, I'm going to have to get some fluid input up here. But I'll worry about that a little bit later. Let's jump down to Nervous, put on the screensaver, get some words on stream started. That is way too many tabs in my browser. I need to do something about that. And let me just double check. Every time I've checked, we've had the correct... Um, like, we haven't had to update the URL on this little browser extension. But I think I had to the first time. Okay. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes or so. And in the meantime, 30 seconds until Words on Stream starts. Take care.
Agile Dune. Climbing up rapidly. Alright, let's continue with the space exploration. As our cryonite train does its thing. Don't see that very often, cryonite in motion, because the throughput that we need for it is a relatively small. Okay, where are we? We are still way over here. So it's going to be a while before we're doing anything in person. Uh, our new ship is... Uh, about a 30th of the way to... Fully warmed up and ready to go. We will be needing some... Pumps and pipes over here. And let me just copy paste this so it should wait, what? It's hard to see the rotation. Um it's gonna give it the, the wrong signal, but these things change whatever signal you give it to what am I doing? 372. Uh, whatever signal it receives, it changes it back to that signal type with the same magnitude. Actually, I say receives. There's a, there's a connection point here that I would imagine is for setting the spaceship clamp ID as opposed to reading it, uh, reading the throughput from this one, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Uh, okay, so water needs to be not quite full. Sulfuric acid and antimatter can get pumped in unconditionally. Uh, where have we got water? Down here? Why don't we just spaghetti it up this way? Do we have robots? Yeah, we have robots. Hmm. I could have the... Let me turn this around for a second. Actually, I could have just picked dollies, uh, pick a dolly to this over here. Uh, I might just bring this over here first, and then uh, we need a bit more room, I think. Also. I suppose I could put a sulfuric acid drop off here. Oh, we don't have sulfuric acid up in space. You know, the amount that we use for this is not that high, just making the new ships. So maybe I should just make some sulfuric acid up here and forget about the, uh, uh, the pr productivity bonus for that. Sulfuric acid. Um, it's iron, sulfur, and water, if I recall correctly. Iron, sulfur, and water. Uh, I mean, pumping a whole lot of water into space is no joke either. But we're already filling it up with water. It'll basically take two more tanks. Should I make a tanker to bring up sulfuric acid? It seems overkill. Wait, is there anything else? Sulfuric acid. 
I'm kind of hoping that we're going to need sulfuric acid for something else in our orbital science or something. As opposed to only needing it for things that we can do with productivity bonuses or mining nacrotite or iridite for that matter. Or uranium. And the answer is no. It would feel really overkill to make one of these tankers for sulfuric acid, but on the other hand, uh, I don't know how many more fluids we're going to need to bring up to orbit. Um, and I've already... I've already got the space for them. So... Maybe? I'll just copy this design again. Uh, where's our spy, uh, build ship? Build ship? Where's our spaceship build Otron spider? Over here. I think I will do this. Sulfuric acid. Right about there. Uh, tanker shuttle, right about there. Spider, right about there. What's this tanker doing? Oh! A wild tree strikes again. For some reason, when we put down blueprints uh, to play Spaceship Floor, the spiders, uh, the trees don't get removed for that. And we didn't end up managing to place this booster tank. Could, could you please... Oh, you're, you're actually out of floor. Never mind. Um, what I might do for the moment, whoops, what I might do just for the moment is remove all of this so that we get that bit of floor built. I think I have a, yeah, there it is, decon planner. And then we need some of this. And then our... Well, it's going to be some time for the fluid to even out. But our tanker should be able to leave. Alright. Spaceship build Otron. Off you go. Actually, before you do, let's at least put that floor down again as much as we can. So I'm definitely not, not going to see this later and not even remember that we were building this ship. Uh, please head over to the mall and come back when you've got more spaceship floor. Alright, our ETA is 20 minutes. Uh, we still have a whole bunch of these... Wait, why do we have no speed modules? Construction spiders, are you okay? I think they just don't have speed modules. Module box. Doesn't have any prods? Really? Oh, are we not requesting prods here anymore? That might be why. Uh, no, I did request prods over here. It's the same... It's the same block that we merged yesterday. Why do we have no modules? We're making them. 
Why did that just switch from a 9 to an 8 when it didn't finish? Uh, well. And it just went from an 8 to a 7. Oh, I understand why. So we have set targets for each, and then as we make a few of the next tier, it consumes the previous tier, and then when we drop below that target, we revert back to another recipe. It's a little clumsy. But we do seem to be making these modules, so where... We've got 711 in the... You're stuck, aren't you? Get out of here. What are you looking for? <laughs> Three roboports and one space pipe to ground. Okay. What about this one? Robots. This one's also looking for robots. I think it was just everything was held up by that one train that didn't get uh, the cargo rocket section that it was looking for. Okay. I need to do something about that. I'm not sure exactly how I want to go about it. Uh, we don't even have the speed modules here anyway. That's what I was actually looking for this time. But I'm pretty sure we had plenty of them over here. 1.1k. That's quite good. That's very good, actually. Spaceship build Otron is arriving... It's probably going to be resupplied before it even reaches the point that I told it to move to. Wow, okay, yeah. Uh, off you go. I have to wait until all of those floors are clear. You're still here. What? Or was there another train? I think I know what happened. There was probably another train queued up to come here as well. No, it's train limit one, actually. That's interesting. I thought because this tank was missing and these wires weren't connected, uh, we had an extra train queued up to bring us liquid rocket fuel 20k we can fit 8k, 7k 6k, 4k, that's 10 that's not 10 wait, yes it is yeah, there's definitely room for this fluid here it's just taking a while to level out okay, I guess that's not actually a problem It's probably a knock-on effect from the last train's issue. The UI is surprisingly snappy considering the UPS. Yeah, you definitely feel it as being sluggish when you come into it after, like, uh, after playing a save that's at 60. But all things considered, uh, it really is quite responsive. Um, what's going on here? Oh, wow. How long have you been there? Oh my god. Okay. We've still got all of these small trains. I think this is why we... I, I think this is why we don't have small trains. Uh, that we need to, needed to make more of them a while ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small trains are kind of stuck here trying to drop off this artillery. Because it rebalances down the bottom here, but it can't be rebalanced up here. Not with the uh, 
Not without some modded chests or something. Um, I don't suppose... It'd be nice if via the navigation satellite I could use... Uh, uh, what is it called? Even distribution to rebalance these. But I'm sure you could exploit that to no end. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna... I seriously need to nuke my storage of artillery shells. I don't know if I'm even joking. I could point an energy beam at it. But for now, I'm gonna switch these off. Just go to war with some biters? We've got, like, I think it was, um, 40,000 or 80,000 shells that we ended up with. And I don't really remember how. I, I think shells kept getting brought back to the mall as trash for some reason, or something like that. And we just ended up with the entire mall chock full of artillery shells. Uh, eventually, while we weren't looking. Um, and now we've got just a ludicrous amount of them. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna send these ones back. And we've switched off the storage for the artillery, so... Hopefully that's all it takes... ...to dismiss this problem for now. This one's waiting. I think that's all of them. Okay. Next is what to do? Upgrade. I never did upgrade this, but we're totally saturated on uranium. Partly because we've been phasing out the use of it for fuel for the spaceships. Not to mention the outposts. So that's really not an issue. Um, where's that spider? Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a sulfuric acid tanker. Should have done this ages ago. Uh, and we're looking for this much. That should be fine. Liquid rocket fuel for takeoff. Why doesn't this have... I guess we don't normally have storage tanks in our small spaceship builds. Let's bring the construction spiders over. And then they can probably head straight home, actually. Uh, as for the circuitry... What do we normally do here? Yeah, that, that'll do. If sulfuric acid in the one tank that we're measuring is greater than 24,800, we can consider this thing to be full, because the pumps get slower and slower filling it up. And our target is now this orbit. Launch signal. Um, what ID are we going for here? We've got 3006, 3005, 3007. Cool. 
uh, and in orbit. This is much easier to set up than the solids. Uh, we've already done this part. 3007. Pump goes this way. I wouldn't even have to change the name of the station, which I don't think I usually do with these. That's actually already done. Oh, we're not going to have to make a trip with these very often. Um, in fact, it's going to be like 32 of the new spaceships that we can send out with each launch of this shuttle. It might take a minute to fill up, though, but we're probably... Yeah, we're completely backed up on sulfuric acid. Our fluid bottlenecks have been other things. So, no worries there. The new block for oil seems to be working quite well. Actually, every time I check on one of these blocks, I see this. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four. I think it's petroleum is empty. Yeah, there it is. I think this lot gets petroleum faster. We've got six. Uh, all of these have the same modules. Six chemical plants making plastic on this side, and six of them making plastic on this side. Uh, one, two, three for this side of the belt, one, two, three for this side of the belt. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and then we've just got them coming down on opposite sides. We can do 90 per second here, theoretically. Uh, a little bit more, actually, except it bottlenecks on the belt. But every time I check, this is what I see. We've got a full belt of plastic on this side, which is blocked because we're doing a balanced load and this side is stopped. Well, not stopped, it's just slower. I knew this block, uh, when I designed it, it couldn't do everything at full speed all the time. Um, but it's been very consistent in crying out for more petroleum. Redesigning it would be a pretty big job. Um, if I made a block somewhere else that tends to output a surplus of petroleum, and our build up here that makes plastic would be fed more often, maybe that would resolve it. Seems like a good idea. Where are we? 15 minutes. Alright, where's our ship? It is filling up with sulfuric acid. I think it's already good to go, actually. We'll give it a few minutes to actually fill up. I might send it early the first time, but if I just forget about it, um, it should auto-launch. But I'd like to keep my eye on it to make sure it's working. Uh, what about our new ship? I would like... Oh, I have to build the drop-off for it on Nalvis as well. But I would like for it to be able to have everything it needs before it actually gets going. Uh, I 
could do a block here, but I'd need to put in some landfill. I think here should be fine, actually. The train would be able to leave with the Naquitite and immediately go up this way do its little roundabout thing and drop off Naquitite by, like so. That's a pretty short trip. Do our spiders carry uh, concrete? They do. Why do you have an efficiency 9 in you? What? What, what are you... Well then, I thought all of our tier 9 modules that we've found could be found in uh, this robot network or the one in space for the moles. But apparently I have to sift through all of these spiders that have somehow picked them up at random at least once. That's cool. Trash unrequested. You're telling me it's got a request for efficiency nines? I must have... It, it was only efficiency nines, but I must have hit that one when I meant to do efficiency six at some point. Well then. That's going to need some attention. Um, but first, let's get them to build this new block. That should be more than enough. Okay. Um, one of the reasons I want that built is so that I have the list of stuff that I already made for what we should probably put in this ship. Well, that's a good fit. And then a nine. That's unfortunate. We can't do two fifteens. Wait, that's water. That would be antimatter. Whoops. Yeah, we need water like so. Antimatter. Like this. wanted to set up sulfuric acid here. We'll read from the logistic train stop output. If sulfuric acid less than zero, it's going in here. If antimatter stream less than zero, it's going in here. And then, I guess with the shape of this, we need to go like so. Um, I could just add some more scaffolding to make this piping a bit more convenient. But I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Oh, that's going to connect. Let's not do that. We could put this here, actually. And then a few corner pieces here. Apparently we're not requesting 9s or 15s.
What the? Okay. In the short term, it's better if I just bring construction spiders in range of that. And I think that is all we need. Spiders in on Nalvis are building this right now. You can tell from the little momentary pauses whenever they place a signal. This is what I was looking for. We're going to add the same requests up here. Oh my goodness, the latching. I'm going to have to wait till a bot comes along to place that, actually. There it is. Rest assured, this will only last while the spiders are placing rail signals. So heat. 1200 degrees. It's going to be a minute before this thing's ready to take off. Also, do I have a construction ship? I do. I need to take more solar power to Calidus orbit and set up some more energy beaming because I keep having to swap around what I'm doing with the beam emitters here and we're adding a whole new place that we start building uh, ships that use beam receivers not to mention a spot on Nalvis where they're going to need recharging Away go the solar pro... Wait, what? Did it just... Are we destroying resources for no reason here? Um... Possibly? I don't even know why we're going through stuff probe data right now. Where are our ships? Star probe data 1 and data 2. Where are you? Uh oh. Uh, where is this? Nalvis orbit? Oh, this is fine actually. Yeah, it's just waiting for its turn to land at Nalvis and it's completely full. Okay, star probe data 1, it's here, it still has a little bit of star probe data so it's not leaving. Um, but apparently we're taking star probes out there and launching them even though the data output is full. Well, there's a pretty easy fix to that. Oh, I can't quite reach. How much do, uh, data does this make per launch? I think it's a thousand? Uh-oh. Just double check it makes a thousand. It's 
Start right. Yeah, 1,000. We can fit 2,400 in each chest. Um, we've got 19k. How many chests is this? Uh, eight. So if we've got 18,000, we don't want to put more stuff in. But we've still got inserters trying to shove in some star probes. Uh, do we have a storage chest here somewhere? Maybe? Surely? Possibly not. How many bots do we have? We have some of each type, that's the main thing. Um, I don't think there's a storage chest anywhere though. Uh, I think we have some requester chests lying around though. Okay, I'm going to make these guys drop what they're holding. Oh, and the bots, the construction bots actually put those straight into the requester chests. Alright, that's fine. Do we have a similar issue at the asteroid belt? I would imagine so, since we used the exact same build. Yep. Alright, let's disable these first. And then uh, asteroid belt probe data less than eighteen thousand. And I guess that is a resource sink that we don't have to deal with for a while. So that's nice. We will no longer be spamming probe launches as fast as possible. Uh, that'll free up at least seven resources. Nice to know those are totally saturated, though. I would be upset by this if not for the fact that coal mining exists. Okay, we've got our water, mostly. Uh, we've got some antimatter stream. How is our antimatter stream looking? Okay, I think. I'm thinking I should maybe have more storage for it here. Because our consumption of antimatter stream is very bursty. But I want... I want a pump between the secondary storage and where the train picks it up. So let's bring our construction spiders down this way. Hopefully not stepping on the toes of any spaceships. No, oh, we're good. And I want to swap this out. Or actually, I can just put it here. We'll add a pump in here. And we can cram in some storage somewhere or other. I mean, there's plenty of room, it's hardly cramming it in. 
That's actually a really good fit. Let's do that. Oh, that's going to connect. Let's not do that. Wait, why is this... Oh, this is one... This would be here if it was following the same pattern. Uh, we've got eight here. We just increased it by five. Six, seven, eight. That doubles our storage. I don't suppose there's anywhere else I can cozily add this in. Actually, kinda, yeah. No, that's one off. That wouldn't quite connect. Uh, I could do it here if I add a little bit of pipe. I almost feel like adding that bit of pipe there just for consistency, but uh, it's fine. Alright, so we just added 13 tanks as opposed to our 8 for 200k. I think that's going to be good enough. Maybe it would be good to add some storage for Particle Stream. That's also in pretty high demand sometimes. No, I think this is fine. I, I think just add another block like this if we need it to go faster. Except I'm pretty sure we actually bottleneck on Plasma Stream anyway, so there's no point without adding more of that. And Particle Stream itself actually bottlenecks on Chemical Gel, which bottlenecks on Petroleum. Uh, if it wasn't bottlenecked on Petroleum, our ship would be here with Petroleum right now, so we'd be getting Petroleum fast from both sides here. Where is our... Petroleum tanker. That is filling up very slowly, it would seem. I mean, it is a very, very big supply of petroleum. Okay. Uh, sulfuric acid, meanwhile, is filling up relatively quickly. I mean, we had all of those... Uh, each block with making the oil products was completely full, and in fact still is completely full of sulfuric acid, pretty much. I think we're going to fill this thing up just as fast as the trains can bring them here. Uh, why don't we go for... How much... What's our extra storage here? Let's count. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. A hey, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 31, 32, 3,200. So, if my understanding of this is correct, if we look for 203,000 in these tanks, and we set the request threshold to 100k, that should never get overfilled. And then we can actually get two trains coming at once, because the request threshold is high enough, in theory. 
but with the way the fluids take time to move. I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference. Especially as we're filling up, it gets slower. But that is a lot of sulfuric acid. 7 minutes, or more like 8 minutes. Alright, how's our build doing here? We've got bots. Fantastic. That's interesting. We have 15 logistic bots in... Oh no. Uh, are they going to pick it up now? No, this would only work if the construction bots were put in the purple chest. Or, I mean, they were put in the purple chest, but I accidentally had construction bot filter on some of these chests uh, when it was only supposed to be this one. Yeah, the only one with a filter should be this one. Let me get logistic bots point in, put in directly by an inserter, and the logistic bots should bring the construction bots. Now the logistic bots take some of those back, put them directly in here, and we get a few. I thought it would just be one. Yeah, no, it is literally just one swing. And that's all we need, um, just to have a few construction bots here active in case we need them to do something for us. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's head back to the mall then. I forgot to name this, not that it matters very much. Nequitide Provider. And we'll send these back home. So I'm thinking in future, uh, all of our all, all of our um, space station uh, spaceship stations are going to look like this. At least until we build a much much bigger ship, which I don't think is even strictly necessary. At least as far as our haulers are concerned. Do we know what new... what the Factorio devs are making? Uh, not really. There's, uh, trips and drabs of information and rumors and stuff, I understand. What's going on with these bots? Oh, these spiders never got their inventory sorted out. Oh, this is the old gang of construction spiders. The one that got the leader, among others, killed by standing too close to a spaceship. Um, and then I made uh, a new set of construction spiders yesterday. Purple ones carry certain things and the blue ones carry everything else. So that we've got plenty of spare room in the inventory so they shouldn't have this problem in future. Uh, they got this done though at least. So what I might do is send those back and get them to get them to follow the new leader. We are approaching our destination. Fantastic. 
How often are our shields working, I wonder? Oh, not very often at all. Although there was one really big spike here. Well, that's what they're there for. I do prefer to have them as a last line of defense as opposed to hoovering up every asteroid. Uh, I think they cost more energy to get the same job done than lasers do. Could be wrong. Actually, that would be a good thing to test. But yeah, I would either want shields up front as much as possible and lasers behind them uh, to catch anything that comes through, or vice versa. And I think I'm a lot... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Don't switch that off. Don't, don't switch that off. Okay. Okay. Whew. Uh, yeah, I think I'm a lot more confident in the latter approach. Um, what else have we got going on right now? How's our new ship looking? 1700 degrees. It needs to reach 5000 before this, uh, heat exchanger will work, so that's effectively zero, as far as we're concerned. Antimatter will probably be full by the time that happens. Sulfuric acid, uh, I forgot to put the request for it here. And I think I don't even need to prod this. Um, we're really not having trouble getting sulfuric acid. This will automatically launch. And it'll get delivered to that ship by the time we get 5,000 degrees. At least I'm pretty confident of that. What else can we... Oh yeah, uh, we want to finish updating our old science blocks. Let's do that. Uh, first of all, get rid of the old power poles. And get rid of all of this, I think. I don't want to delete any signals. Um, we will be leaving the chests in place. That was sort of the whole point of the first half of yesterday's stream. Redesigning, but keeping the exact same train spots, uh, train stops. And then... Green science. Goes here. Except that was just a theoretical maximum. Uh, I don't actually want to bother with that just yet. I'm sure like 24 of these machines is way more than enough for now. Oh, and they still don't have those speed modules. Um, also, this belt is still here? What? I guess that is part of that blueprint. I can try to carefully remove it. I hope that's right. Uh, I guess I didn't block these off soon enough. Oh well, it's fine. No, it's not. Let's pick this stuff up. that. Don't need 
that. Don't need that. This is looking a bit messed up. Alright, that should reclaim just a little bit of UPS. And we've got another four to go like this. But yeah, uh, particularly realizing that all of the infinite researchers are going to be bottlenecking on deep space science. Unless we can make that go legit ridiculously fast, there's no point in making this go ridiculously fast. And since we actually have to care about UPS, uh, this is what we're doing now. Okay, back to the mall with you for now. Four minutes to our destination. Sulfuric acid. I want to see this launch if possible without touching it. Uh, I think it's actually probably just going to be one more. Oh, maybe not even one more train delivery. Uh, the pumps are getting slower. However, we're down to 150 per second on each side. Uh, we've currently got 23,000. Well, that's just reading from the one tank. We're looking for uh, 24,800, so that's almost full. Uh, we need about 1,100 per tank. Well, this one's more full, but let's call that a pessimistic average. 35,200 to go. We've definitely, definitely got that here. But more to the point, how long will it take? Uh, about two minutes, except it's getting slower and slower. Hard to say, really. Yeah, the reason we're reading this tank up here is it's pretty far away from those pumps. So if this one is getting close to full, we can pretty much call it full. Alright, I guess I'll check back in on that one. Um, I really want to get our new ship moving. Do we have our construction ship? Yes, we do. Anchor... Uh, I could park it here, but I want to extend the solar power down this way first. And probably... Tidy up this old stuff. Hello? You're joking, there's no construction bots in this. Okay, we can fix that. Uh, or can we? Hmm. This might require some creativity. Is an interesting way of saying we're in trouble. Uh, I don't think I can get this around that. I want to get... I want to move this uh, inserter over this way. With picker dollies. 
I can't move these around at all. I can move the RoboPod up here. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Okay. We did it. Uh, let's not forget to put this back first. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can now build... Well, they're going to go and do random things first. Oh, they went and picked... They prioritized deconstruction and we don't have a... We don't have a storage chest. Okay, I guess we're doing this again. In fact... Uh, why don't we just... That's a lot of bots. Why don't we just put as many of them in as possible? It's either that or I have to cancel all of these construction orders um, so that the bots will focus on what I want them to focus on and then we can get an inserter in place and so on. Why are you building a solar farm in deep space? It's actually not deep space. Uh, it's around our sun. And it's so that we can get lots and lots of power very, very easily and beam it to places where we can't get power so easily. Death lasers? That is part of the reason. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dyson Sphere? Uh, kind of. <laughs> it's a start. Alright, let's swap this out. Oh, I already gave that order? Pylon Substation. No? What? Oh, I think... When I mouse over this, it says Pylon Substation. I can't see the upgrade planet. Wait, what? There's two of these here? That's weird. Yeah, it did it, did it over here as well. I think it stuck the Pylon Substation on top of the radar construction pylon. when I was trying to upgrade it. Alright, I guess I'll deconstruct those instead. gonna need a minute. How many bots do we have now? 150... 162. Uh, I think that's gonna be more than enough that we're gonna bottleneck on recharging the bots. So I'll stop there for now. And then put this back. Uh, I can live with that being in there. And put this here like it should have been before. I guess since the bots are gonna... No, we need a fast inserter because we don't have any yellows for that. It should be a yellow, but we don't have any here. Then construction bot 
less than, say, 250. Read robot stats, total construction box. Oh, it's still active, actually. Whatever, that's fine. Okay. I think I will take a short break. When we come back, we'll loot uh, Anson. And hopefully we'll see sulfuric acid here by the time uh, a few minutes have passed. Actually, yeah, I think this thing's about to launch. How close are we? 24,705, 6. It needs to reach 800 if I don't, if I'm not going to change this. Let's witness this thing launching first if we can. No applause sound? I think, uh, no, it's just slow. That's weird. Yeah, I thought I heard a sound earlier. The bunk definitely worked. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I didn't mean please clap. I was just checking that that was actually working, just to be clear. This is taking a minute. Let's just make sure. I just want to see this working before I go on a short break. And I guess we started a yay train. Alright. Shuttle... I mean tanker... is on its way. 20 seconds. Okay. And it's actually 14 seconds because, well, it's more than 14 seconds because of UPS, but we're almost there. And then? Fantastic. Good to know that's working. All right, screensaver, words on stream, and I'll be back in a few minutes. 30 seconds to words.
One more. One more. Okay. Oh, ripping pepperonis. Let's continue with some space exploration then. Where were we? We got our sulfuric acid. And it should be here. Fantastic. R E A R. Nope. Nope. Okay then. I'm getting mixed signals from chat. Uh, we got 2.4k heat here. That is a little slow for my tastes. How is our ship at Calidus doing? It's still sending out scaffolding, so we'll give it a few more minutes. Uh, Anson has zero biters. Fantastic. I think I forgot as well to delete the surface for the last place we were at. If I don't do this sort of maintenance, uh, the size of the save, uh, save file is going to jump up very quickly. Automation signal 4. What a small automation signal. Let's anchor right next to our pyramid. Make sure we've got our lasers on. And surprise party. Speed module. What is this? Kind of a weird shape. Alright, let's uh, step outside and let the janitor do their thing. Thank you, janitor. Grab a screenshot of this. And head on to the next one. Uh, so this one is Anson. Prop that. A N S O N. And we'll throw that into the Discord channel. See if we can't make sense of these. Hmm. 
I wonder if... So if we were to cross-reference the ones that we do have, we've got one star or another, or one... We've definitely found this one before. Uh, that was... that's very different, it's kind of memorable. So if we look at which planet this is, and which planet this is, I wonder if this one can be found between the two. If it's just a chart. It doesn't really help us if it is. Maybe there's more to it. What do the pyramids do? They give you free modules? Yeah, that's part of it. I mean, in terms of gameplay, that might be all of it, but we're trying to figure that out. Alright, so next is Halcyon. Uh, I presume we've still got plenty of fuel. Yeah, we're good. Although we need to see how much we've got after taking off from here, actually. That was hardly anything. Radius 4000, antimatter does not care. Okay. Next is... Uh, I'm pretty much just waiting on a couple of construction projects right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did say we'd be bottlenecking on the actual uh, RoboPort, uh, but that's looking a little bit more severe than I had in mind. Well, I don't think we're half done building this because of that. I would like, however, to get ahead of uh, building this next thing. Where's this pointed? Oh, right. Uh, maybe... I think since our new ships are using high temp... Uh, turbine generators, we should probably put in a bit more energy to warm them up faster. So this is 8. Also, I might change the layout of this. It's kind of awkward. I guess it made sense up here if we're not adding more scaffolding, but I can't pick a dollies this, can I? No. So I might just move this over here. when the ship comes up this way. It's a more consistent look. Easier to deal with. Okay, we are 17 seconds out. Wait, what? We're headed for the sun. Uh, I think I looked at the wrong... Yeah, we're supposed to go to Bellerophon. Let's not go to the sun today. Right then. Um, what else can we be doing right now? We have the construction spiders probably ready to update and kind of downgrade the next block for sites. Um, we'll leave all of the chests and stations in place. Get rid of all this old stuff. Uh, I guess this random block is going to give us a hand as well. It might turn out to be slower, actually. Depending on how that robot network is. But since they're not picking up chests full of stuff, it shouldn't take long.
And I don't think we need to change any of this up here. Construction spiders are on the way. Military science goes here. I guess we can start on the blue one as well. Get rid of all this. Actually, I'll just get rid of all the belts here so that we don't have a repeat of... That one's actually fine. So that we don't have a repeat of last time. get rid of any old power poles if we've missed them. Wait, do you have the productivity modules? Well, we hardly consume any science these days. I'm not too worried about it just yet. It's not too many machines for this one. I might just leave it as is. Uh, where is our module box? Did we get... Did we get the prods delivered? We did not. Why not? Don't tell me there's another short train that's confused here. No, it's just slow. There's just too many things being delivered. All from this one uh, short train station at the mall. Where are you taking this stuff? Oh, we're still making... We're still making, uh, star probes. It would have been saturated ages ago, uh, if we... if it wasn't automatically wasting a whole lot of these resources, even though the output was full. Uh, we're here already. Let's check if there's biters. Let's not forget to delete this surface. Uh, 7% biters. Not too worried about that. And there's our pyramid. I'm just waiting to see if... What? We're not scanning, are we? Wait, did I tell it to scan? No, I didn't. Okay, now it's finished. Let's land. Pop in unannounced. They are part of a puzzle? I kind of hope so, for the effort that I've put into it. Hey, we got a prod module. And I think that's the last spawner. Step outside for the janitor. Thank you, janitor. And let's get ourselves a screenshot. Imagine when they build computers good enough to run this at 60 UPS. Uh, I think some people's computers probably could with this save. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, let's take off first since we know there's biters here. The Lair O Fun. Copy paste that in. B-E-L-L-E-R 
O P H O N. Yes, I spelled that right. Fantastic. Throw that one into the Discord. Wait, that's the wrong. There we go. I can say with 100% certainty, say that they are part of a puzzle. Cool. Thank you, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, so we've hit up these two. Let's move on to... The big one doesn't have a mysterious structure, thankfully. Um, I'm pretty sure we have more than enough fuel. Oh, that's actually... That's actually big versus really big. How much fuel do we have? Uh, I think we're still fine. We're not that far away from Calidus anyway. Uh, yes, we are. But not in terms of antimatter fuel, I don't think. Alright, uh, let's go to... Ixion? I-X-I-O-N. And... Three minutes. Actually, more like a minute and a half till we're there. Um, we'll have a look at how much fuel we've got after taking off from this one. Or deciding... There's actually only one planet here. It's really big, but it does have a mysterious structure. I, I would prefer not to have to come back here, but I might be cutting it a little bit close. If we go to both of these. Hard to say. Doing pretty good, thanks. Trying to survive my first day in my 40s. Well, happy birthday. Uh, kind of, I guess. I mean, I hope you have a good day. Alright, so we got our sulfuric acid, we got our antimatter. It's actually just finishing up, pumping in here. Uh, we're still very much waiting on charging the beam receiver for this ship. So, unless we add some more beam transmitters. It's going to be a slow process uh, making more of these ships. Thank you. No worries. All right. Um... Okay. What's next? Uh, I haven't gotten the... Ooh. Yeah, all the more reason to set these up like so. I think that'll actually make enough room by itself. Why do you have all the artillery shells? I want to make some of these purples. Maybe three of them. And I need to... I need to get them all to follow the new leader as well. I could be lazy and just have this one follow this guy, though. Is that okay? You saw nothing. Where are our scaffolding spiders? I think they are ready to go again. They're kind of not scaffolding spiders at the moment. Uh, we've been having them just delete all this old stuff. Uh, I think this is the only place we're making space rail. No, did I start making it in the mall? I'm pretty sure we can make it here. Cable, rail, and 
uh, energy catalog. Yeah. If I haven't already set this up to be built by the mole, then all we have to do is add a signal to it. Apparently we're producing regular rail here for some reason. Well, it is a prerequisite for space rail. Alright, let's pick this stuff up. Actually, it's in a robot network, so... We're probably going to have distant bots lay claim to picking that up for us. Um, I don't really want that to happen right now. I might start with the Roboports, actually. There we go. I'll leave that there for now. We can have trains pick it up. Possibly. The real conundrum is... Not really a conundrum, but it's just a big job. It's picking up all of this stuff. And see if we have the storage for it. It's actually taking a moment to find out. If I get them closer, they'll go exponentially faster. Pick this stuff up. That's more like it. Alright, on to the next one. How full are they? Oh, very. Well, they're more than half full. Actually, some of them not at all. The bots are having to recharge now as well. We'll check back in on them in a minute. Uh, okay, here we are at Ixium. There's quite a few biters. Let's see if we can find the pyramid without looking it up. And I think we can sneak in and out of this without killing any biters outside of the pyramid. Oh, there's a few down here. And they're not that close. Let's anchor. Get this done quickly. Wait. Oh, I hit alt. I thought there was nothing in this chest this time. Don't really need to wait for the janitor to screenshot this one. Let's do that. Uh, paste that in here. And it was Ixion, wasn't it? I-X-I-O-N? Cool, let's get going. Throw that into the Discord as well. Where else are we going? Oh wait, I need to check fuel after we take off from here. So we're at 27k, a little bit more than half. 20k. And that was radius 7400. I think it costs about... It 
It's about the same per tank as the radius that we see here. So taking off from the next one is probably going to leave us with 10,000 antimatter. Um, and then we haven't even been to this place yet, which is also pretty high radius. I think we're going to have to come back for uh, this system right here. Arione and El Elolis. But I'm pretty sure we can go to Demios. Let's do that. Demios? Oh, and it was Ixion, right? Yeah, Ixion. Throw that little piece of the mystery into that channel. Uh, and let's not forget to delete surface. We already did these ones. Fantastic. Uh, spiders are very much full. They did pick up the cargo landing pad though. Good job. Okay. We pretty much always have short trains picking up way too much stuff here these days. Um, I might have to rethink this. Because there's... Last I've checked for a long while, there's always a queue here. We have uh, stopped wasting uh, the probes that we're sending out. So... Once that saturates, we'll have quite a few less, uh, quite a few fewer short trains picking up from this station. But I still feel like we could maybe come up with a better solution. Maybe I should just have... These thing, These builds have some things in common, right? Lasers... Emitters, uh, we got nanomaterial and, hmm, let me have a look. Lots of blank data cards, lots of aeroframe bulkheads, uh, rocket control unit, uranium fuel cell, and solid rocket fuel, they've all got in common. I think what I should do is make a block that's going to make all four... Why do I only see three here? Oh, is this called something else? Arcosphere Collector. Uh... All three types of probe and an arcosphere collector. We could maybe make all of those in one rail block. And we can have long trains drop off most of these resources. That'll probably help quite a lot with the short train traffic. Okay, what's next? How's our ship looking? 3,000 degrees. It's getting there. I mean, 5,000 is effectively zero, so it's not that good. It really is taking these bots a while to lay out the uh, scaffolding, though. I probably shouldn't have queued up so much all at once. Hmm, I could actually... Remove the ghosts that we do have down here. Wait, what? Oh, we need tile ghosts. And we can at least get them to focus on one of these at a time. Oh, 
Although that does require more actions from me checking in on this more often. But the time it's going to take them to recharge, uh, we can react to this like effectively just as quickly. We've got quite a while. Alright, let's land on Demios. And what do we got? 100% fighter threat. Lovely. We got a purple planet. A lot of biters very, very close to the center. And do we find our pyramid? Nope. Let's look it up. Demios. Uh, unfortunately, it's in no particular order, so we just have to scroll through this. Dedrim. Dolentia? Did I go past it? It was on the south side? Uh, was it though? Or are we talking about something else? It can be in any direction from the middle. Tedrin. Dolentia. Wait, do we not have one here? We don't have one here, that's why. Okay, let's... Let's move on rapidly, pretend that never happened. Okay, uh, how much fuel do we even have? It probably would have been suicide to land down there. Oh wait, I was already calculating as if we were going to land there. So I think we probably can go to... Uh... Elolis. Elolis. There's no icon on the planet info. Yeah. Good call. No name? Fat boy not so slick. And uh, I don't know if I said hello to Spanch's channel. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Let's check. We got 20k. Yeah, a little bit less than 20k. Depending on how much fuel it costs to get from here to here, uh, I think we'll almost certainly be comfortable landing on this planet. You did say hello, but hello again. Fair enough. Hello, hello. Alright, where else are we going? Uh, scaffolding spiders, you're still getting emptied of copious amounts of rail. Fantastic. Um, how much necrotite do we have? Have we been... We've been producing it very consistently. Which would seem to uh, imply that the spaceships are already keeping up. Oh, there's a big dip over here. That was only an hour ago. Huh. Yeah, I think these big spikes are when we go to Black Mirror. But there's, a, there's actually a dip here. So we do still need more spaceships to keep up with those old mines. I don't think I want to add any more, though. Um, I think I would rather add the big new sp uh, spiny, big new shiny spaceships to go collect at Stardust, where we have just some ludicrously big Nacrotite mines. This is 11 million. Oh, I know what else I should have them carry. I should have them carry... Uh, 
scaffolding. I did mark some of these on the map. Yeah, there it is, seven million. There's quite a little, uh, quite a bit of space here for our power plant. We don't need the whole thing. Um, so then we wouldn't have to bother with the scaffolding. On the other hand, huge patch with 11 million. Just how big is this anyway? Uh, I wish I had like a ruler. I could grab one a, a familiar blueprint. Okay, that's a bit too big. Uh, what about... We could measure it by our old spaceship design. This is like a couple of these spaceships. And this is barely more than one. But they just needs... We just need more scaffolding to make this one work. Uh, so... We've got... I may have forgotten to request everything here. No, I didn't. Do we have it? We've got ten different things. Uh, that does not appear to be everything. Probably don't have the modules. Yeah, we don't have the modules. Okay, but... Let's see, we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 12 stacks, and then 20 more, that's 32, that leaves, I think, 16? Yeah, we've got 16 stacks left over. Uh, so what if we go for, like, 10 stacks of scaffolding? I'm pretty sure the short trains can bring scaffolding. 12k, yep, we're good. And that means we need to update uh, this thing. And also update our constant combinator for what we're trying to put in this chest, though apparently none of it is available. Wait, it's not setting requests. Oh, I didn't connect this wire because I had to wait for this combinator. Okay. So we have everything except for the modules and media point defense ammo, actually. Wait, why don't we have the meteor point? Wait, what? We are requesting it. Meteor point defense ammo. We don't have any here. Uh, probably because we're not making it in space. Surprisingly enough. But we're trying to. Where do we make media point defense ammo? Uh, I'm pretty sure we can make it here. In fact, I'm sure I've seen it happen here. Let's disconnect everything else. Reset the timer. And... Find out if we're missing something. No? Apparently we've just got too much stuff that we're trying to make, and or we're not able to finish making some other stuff. I see spiders, they're white. Yellow chests too. Indeed. Where are the white spiders though? I mean, I've got some of them 
like the leaders of certain groups for that standout color. And like this yellow one here. It's not something silly like all of your chests are full. Uh, no. No, it's not. Although, I am having trouble finding a chest that's empty at this point. Why do we have testing, do uh, testing packs here? And that's a lot of red wire to just end up here as well. Alright, I guess we could add some more storage again. Auto save. Dear Venus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Your saves are getting chunky. Yeah, they were a lot worse before we were able to trim surfaces where we've cleared out the biters. Uh, it would actually take like a minute before we'd see this bar start moving. What graphics card are you using? Uh, I forget the f number. It's something TR. Here we go. Uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. Alright, bit more storage in there. What a wonderful factory, indeed. Uh, where are we right now? We're halfway to Arione. How much fuel did we use? And that's like nothing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any... Well, we haven't travelled far. It's a bit hard to gauge, but I don't think we're going to have trouble getting home if we go for this planet. Now, if you see them rush into new storage, you know that was the limit. I did find empty, uh, like mostly empty chests here somewhere. Although... Oh, there was one. Right. Yep, there we go. This one's mostly empty. Alright, so... Scaffolding spiders. Looks like they've been emptied. Back up this way, please. And we'll get you to pick up 37,000 copper cable among other things. Artem Ko, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how's our ship at the sun? Alright, it's finally placed. The bots are still recovering, but it's finally placed this uh, scaffolding at least. Oh, and the ones that were waiting to recharge just went to pick up solar panels. That's kind of weird. Do we have... yeah, we do. Black solar panels have been placed there. Now they're all trying to recharge with their flat solar panels in tow. Okay. I'm just gonna... Minimize how many times I have to check on this. And did we get everything we need at uh, this block, except for the modules? Uh, I don't see scaffolding. Did we request it? Yeah, we did. 4,000. Uh, are we short on short trains? 
No, there's no blue flashing down here, so that's a no. Do we have... This thing is occupied. That might be the reason. You're looking for stone, of all things? That's kind of weird. And this one's looking for space probe rockets. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we have enough fuel here. Alright, scaffolding spiders. Picked that up with no difficulty whatsoever, actually. Um, I guess I may as well have them clean up this uh, space rail station. Not to mention all of this. We're getting there. Look at all this base that isn't here anymore. Still quite a bit to go. See how much of that they can pick up and send them back to the mall. We've still got plenty of space to add more storage. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Uh, did we get this ammo built? Not really. Oh, there's no coal here. Alright, uh, let's disconnect that for the moment, connect that back up, and what's the deal with coal? Are we not requesting it here? We are. 2,000, ah, uh, there's your problem. I left that at 40 stacks after I changed this to a request stack threshold of 160. Uh, so now we're going to get coal delivered to the mall. And we'll be able to make that ammo. But not before we build everything else that comes first. We're probably building all this stuff because I updated the spiders requests. And there's a whole lot of extra stuff that they're going to be carrying. But I would rather get the media defense ammo over here first. Once we get some coal in here, I'll force it. Actually, why don't we just add a temporary uh, thing here? That would be easier. Oh, we're almost there. Three seconds. Alright, we're about to find out if I was right or not about having enough fuel. Did we go to Ixion last? Yeah, because this one wasn't actually... Alright, uh, we need to... There's not too many biters. We need to find the pyramid. There it is. That was easy. Uh, While well, it's still scanning. Is that? Okay, good. And we got an efficiency. That's probably the least uh, exciting tier 9 module, to be honest. Minus a thousand percent, though. Okay, that is... Hmm, 
I guess it also has to keep up with the other tier 9s. Looks like a man holding a club. Alright, let's step outside for the janitor. Thank you, janitor. And... Screenshot that. Step outside again. And we're off to Nalvis Orbit. And hopefully we have enough fuel. 19k drops to 11k. I think we're fine. I mean, I'm sure we're fine. Uh, and let me just save that screenshot. Drop that. What was that planet called again? E-L-O-L-I-S. Not sure how to pronounce that. Elolis, I guess. Elolis. M919M. Thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, what's next? Um, I would really like to have this ammo here by the time... Oh, well, okay, the real bottleneck getting this thing ready is going to be heat, I think. Um, we've finally got our scaffolding in place. I should really make a second version of this blueprint. In fact, now's the perfect time. Let's put this up here. And I'm going to select new contents. All of this. Wait, where's the limit, though? Um... Kind of hard to see. What's missing up here? Oh. That's not actually affecting anything, is it? We got some random missing accumulators up here as well. Hey, T-Hacks, did the Combinator on the new ship get the request for scaffolding? Uh, it might have done. Yes, it did. Oh, it's a negative. There we go. And we've got the scaffolding here. Fantastic. Good catch, thank you. Did we get the scaffolding delivered over here yet? Oh, maybe. Uh, that's a few trains to check. What's this station called? It's just blue chest, that's why. There we go. I think this is it. Scaffolding on the way. And then... Speaking of scaffolding, let's grab the old scaffolding spiders. Oh, they're still getting emptied, actually. Let's bring them closer to where we're storing this uh, rail. Uh, I forgot about these spiders over here. They do have the prods, weirdly enough. Just not the speed modules. Anyway, that's our military science replacement basically done. Alright, do we have coal here now? Yes, we do. Oh, that's right, I had this machine 
slowly. Well, there's your problem. I think this alone is going to be... It's actually really slow. So I will uh, grab... Was it this one? Yeah. Disconnect that for now. Connect this over here. Reset the timer. I still haven't come up with a good system for priorities and prerequisites uh, for this thing. I mean, it mostly works itself out in the long run, but sometimes when you're in a hurry, it's not good enough. Alright, are you empty now? Not really. Only 18 minutes till we get back to Nalvis. Fantastic. Uh, how about... How about Calidus? So I wanted to put down... Like this. And then update this blueprint, including the scaffolding. Oh, that was quick. Refreshingly quick after all that's happened here. Alright, how much spare power do we have? Actually, quite a bit. Uh, we're looking at about 20 gigawatts by the time this is done, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, maybe 9. Should be able to make your new blueprint now, indeed. Now that you can see the top edge using the empty space, yes. Alright, let's... Is this done? Did we use all the solar panels? No, not even close. We're just bottlenecked on the bots recharging again. Okay. Spiders are ready. I don't know why these random things don't get picked up. Is that a regular accumulator? I wonder what the, this was doing here, actually, in the middle of our old main bus base. Hmm. Let's get rid of the old roboports. It's happening. Old base is getting tidied away. That is such a huge open space that we've cleared out. Koha, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right, I need to remember that we're actually... A while out from getting back to Nalvis. Maybe you just had an accumulator on you and placed it down instead of finding where to dump it? I don't know. Uh, whoa. That is a sight. Let's, uh, let's bring the construction spiders back to the mall. And maybe these, uh, maybe our construction bots will stop protesting. Okay, uh, anything else to do for the moment? Whoops. How many, how much ammo do we need before it's going to be picked up? We got 652. We're looking for a thousand to get that ship ready. Anywhere to see these ser this series from part one? I'm afraid not, armor team. I didn't 
start archiving it until significantly later. My apologies. The machines are starting to rebel, indeed. Uh, I don't really have anything to do with those spiders right now. What is happening here? Oh, it's a disconnected robot network. Okay, well, I, I take it back. I do have something to do with these spiders. Let's get rid of all this. Actually, the bots might do it for us. Is that connected to something? Yeah, it is. As the UPS drops, the bots rebel. <laughs> We're getting the UPS back. We're cleaning up all this old stuff and patching builds to use fewer machines. Uh, although we have a few things going on at the moment, so it's actually a bit lower than usual. Got a lot of science to pick up here. Well, some more than others. Are you using a mod to see the surface clearly without radar, or is it part of space exploration? The navigation satellite is part of space exploration. Once you've launched one, you can look at any surface uh, whenever you like, basically. Just like this. Imagine a mod where bots have a very low chance to turn against you and attack you on the spot. I guess you'd just have to have defenses everywhere. Not a whole lot of them, but you'd have to have coverage. Uh, Mazel Fazel and Baduk Giza and Armour Team. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Uh, Alright, what else are we doing? I think I might take another break shortly, since we're just sort of juggling a few different balls where we're waiting for some things to happen. Uh, I will, however, get this ship to re-anchor. And I'm going to be super lazy and just park it over here to fix this thing. That looks weird. I'm currently working on project bug fixing week four. Fun. That's the best part of any project. The usual hazards when you are trying to turn the whole universe into paper clips, indeed. Oh, I forgot to keep that selected. Alright, this is where we're parking. And we should have more than enough power to spare. Uh, I also kind of wanted to shift the... Whoa, not like that. Shift these over. So it's just a cleaner look. A bit easier to follow. Uh, depending on how much power we've got lying around. We've got 9 gigawatts to spare. And this is 8. Well, it's more like 9, actually. I guess they have to be further apart. Is that going to go over because this is a gigawatt? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Stop. I might just make this six each and leave some room for improvement. Maybe we'll add some more solar panels while I'm here. Alright, but first I'm going to take a short break. Let's get some words on the stream. Especially when my colleagues are handing me badly formatted Excel sheets of errors. Rip. Okay. 
uh, I'll throw on the usual screensaver, put the words on the stream, and we'll start in about 30 seconds. Alright, back in a few minutes.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, turn this off for now. And back to the space exploration. Uh, fat boy, I saw you were saying something. What was it? Did you see a rock on that engine? What? Yes. Yes, indeed. That would appear to be a rock on the engine. Right at the antimatter exhaust. Third engine has a rock on it, indeed. Why? Why? Why is there a rock on the engine? <laughs> I think I know the answer, to be honest. Um, if you... Actually, I don't want to step out here and get killed. But if I go outside and move into the wall from outside on the spaceship, uh, if I am standing technically on... Whoa! No, 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 no! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Uh, I'm so slow. No, no, I need... I need jetpack. There we go, there we go. Okay. That was... That would have been an embarrassing way to lose my my body uh yeah if i go outside and then towards the ship i'll get sort of stuck on the outside of this standing there and if the ship takes off it'll actually take me with it um because i'm standing on the spaceship floor and i think that's what happened with this rock down here uh you know, I have a little shortage of these things. I think I should clip that. Can I do... Can I clip something through OBS? I haven't actually tried yet. Must be quite the sturdy rock to withstand antimatter? Yeah. I reckon. Uh, I'm probably going to be too late with this, but let's try anyway. Alright, I'll edit that later and see if we got enough of it. Okay, back to the various balls that we're juggling to try and keep everything getting done quickly. Um, so this one... Wait, did I just... Yeah, that one's already aimed there. Okay. This one is going to be aimed at our new ship. Uh, I actually forget which beam was already pointed at it. This one. But yeah, I was borrowing that from uh, the other spaceship building place. We'll keep this one as sort of permanent. And this one needs to be aimed at Nalvis. At our... Uh, I guess about here should be fine. A little bit above the superchargers. Uh... Maybe a little bit more above the superchargers, just to be safe. No, that'll definitely be on target. It's fine. With all that engine blasting, it's doubtful anything... Anything alive can survive on that rock? Probably. I wonder if, if we, when we land back at Nalvis, it's gonna bring this rock with it. Maybe I should leave the rock there. The rock can stay until the end of the playthrough. Nah, to be honest, I, I don't love that. Um, but I am curious to see... When we anchor at Nalvis, is this going to come with us? Okay. Scaffolding spiders. Do your thing, please. The only reason I'm having them zigzag this much is so that the bots can catch up. 
And I think we can pick this up pretty confidently that we're not going to empty our spiders. I mean, the opposite of that, completely overfill our spiders. Um, I think this is our only source of water in orbit right now. We do have ice brought up to other places, but that just makes cosmic water. And apparently we're short on ice still. Or it's probably because... It's probably because cargo rockets are underperforming. Um, where is ice? Here we go. No, it's actually ice. That we don't have enough of. Um, I was talking yesterday about doing another build for ice. Uh, where even is the old one? Or the current one? Oh, it's here. It's just so hard to see against the backdrop of ice itself with the tag on the map. Um, that it's like this is just oil. But yeah, this is using old beacons also... There's not much point in making this go faster, because I underestimated how quickly we needed water here. Uh, and we ended up making three lines of pipes uh, coming all the way from the ocean to support that. So it would make a lot more sense to build that right next to the water. Um, I would kind of like to use this space right here. Since it's going to be a small build, uh, we can just not bother landfilling this area. Except we'll have to... Could we actually line this up like so? Not quite. I don't think we need to worry too much about getting that out of the way, though. Um, I will procrastinate just a little bit fixing up the science builds. I've already got power everywhere. Okay. Um, I didn't actually check how much nequitite. Uh, I need ingots and plates. How often are we making those? Nequium. We haven't made plate for a while. Almost two hours. And yet, ingots aren't so bad? Is that because we're catching up with... No. I think it's because of the shape of not putting this to the rail block and balancing ingots and plate here, actually. But more to the point, we're not bringing Naquium in anywhere near fast enough to keep that thing going. Why are you not taking off? You've got everything. Probably missing some ice, actually. Wait, what? We've got ice here. We've got logistic bots here. Oh, this one doesn't have the request for ice. Yeah, this is why I wanted to have the new design use set requests. Um, not long... 11 should be up to date. Nope, that is 11. Not long... 3? Okay. Where are you? You're waiting for your turn. Okay. Um, so we're going to copy-paste those chest settings here, and here. 
And as soon as it has ice, it should take off. What about this one? Oh, don't tell me we only had like 200 ice here. No, that's not true. So why are the bots taking so long to deliver to this one? I have noticed uh, orders for bots tends to come in waves. But I'm surprised how long it's taking this time. At least we know there isn't a ship waiting in orbit. Uh, actually, no, these have different clamp IDs, so they very well could be. Uh, bots? On the way zero, logistic storage 1809, and 391 logistic bots. Nani? What if I replace it? Much schnell bitte. Nope. They are taking the day off now. And if we look away, we don't confirm that this is working. Is the rock still there from when you took off? Yes, it is. Isn't it beautiful? See, this is how... This is how you can cheese the storage of the uh, ships. We're carrying 20 stone for free. That's unbeatable. Alright, uh... Are we ever going to see these bots? It, it is the one robot network, right? Yeah. And we've confirmed... Eight, 1,809... Available... Uh, on the way... Uh, zero on the way, but 1,809 in storage. And we've got 391 bots. I've never seen them take this long to do something. Is it because we marked too many... No, it's logistics. It's separate. It shouldn't be because we marked a bunch of stuff for deconstruction. It's rather odd. Let's see if they've got room for this. Oh yeah, they do. And let's get the small ones first. 6.4k military science. And the rest are pretty big, actually. space do you have left over? Lots, as it turns out. I think they might even pick up all of the science in one go. I don't know, that is a lot of science. Uh, okay. How about Nervous Orbit? I could start adding solar panels down the side here. Is that all in range? Somewhat. Mostly. Did that do what I think it did? I heard a thing being placed over here. Yep. Wait, what? Didn't I use the blueprint that doesn't have... You're joking. <laughs> this blueprint has a radar construction pylon hidden behind a pylon substation. No, thank you. Um, and I guess we'll just 
replace that like so. Oh, they're heading out this way because of the construction pylon though. They're actually going to get there. I think. Why are they so slow though? That implies they're out of energy, but that would mean they would turn around. I think it's because they are not in a robot network now, but then I would expect them to drift back toward the nearest one. Here is video evidence of T-Hacks either breaking or cheating the game. I didn't do it on purpose. Anyway, what's the utility in having a pylon substation hidden behind a radar construction pylon? I'm a little confused about that part. Yada Gnome, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me power this thing as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to launching this ship. We're at 5,600 degrees. And climbing much faster than before. I don't know, sounds like a silly cheat slash breaking. I'm sure a speedrunner could find a way to... I forgot to put green wire here. Apparently half of those are connected though. I must have... Oh. I made the same mistake with antimatter. But we never got enough antimatter for it to matter yet. No pun intended. Um, alright, all of a sudden I need... Storage for 75,000 uh, sulfuric acid. Um, I might just... I'm going to put a pump here, and then I can turn it around when this is full. And then it'll empty itself, and I can delete that later on. Do we have bots delivering that? Yeah, we do. One, two, three, and four. And it's pumping at 1600 a second. It's getting slower, of course. Yeah, I'm surprised we... I guess I'm not that surprised we didn't get over full with antimatter. Except we've had a long time to do it. Hmm... Already at 5,800. Oh, that just went up four and a half degrees in one tick. Cool. It's not going to be much longer before it's time to launch this thing. Uh, actually, I think I'll wait until... It's only eight minutes in game until I get back to Nalva's orbit. Uh, I think I'll take that ship out myself. And carry some... Uh, some of the other things that we'll need. I suppose... We haven't got anything at Regulus. Is it even closer than Anchorus? To Stardust? I don't think it is. I wish I could measure it. I mean, I could go to the trouble of building an energy beam emitter at... Uh, Regulus pointed at Stardust and see what percentage we get uh, for transmission efficiency, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think it would be significantly easier if we were to just come out here and build more solar panels. Actually, do we even need more solar panels yet? Probably. Yeah, we're pretty close to max power here. Um, I want to send, just like we've done here, uh, I want to send power to a permanent power plant at the outpost and also to warm up the ship when it comes back. Or rather, when it gets there in the first place. 
Come to think of it, I suppose we didn't have to set this up in such a way that we need to deliver ice. We could have taken water from these ships, but I would... The storage density of ice is very, very large, and... Why is this one failing to take off? Checking console past... Checking console floor... Connectivity... Valid... What's it doing? Hello? Um... You're joking! It's got no antimatter fuel! How did this happen? What are even the odds of it getting here with enough antimatter fuel... Having enough antimatter fuel to get here, but then not take off. Bonk, indeed. And this one's empty. Oh, no. That's how it got... Oh, no. That's... That's why... That's why we've got no... Naquitite... Throughput. How did this happen? Didn't we have abundant antimatter here? Oh, we do. What? We've got lots of antimatter here. Was it not refueling it? best thing as well is Oblong 5 is so far away, it may as well go to Oblong Lobulata. I'm going to have to go over there and pump antimatter into these things. Uh, what the? No, don't quick charge mode. How dare you. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Calidus, Nalvis. So, let's confirm. It's definitely lined up so that it'd get antimatter. The pump's not facing the wrong way or something? Uh, I remember this was broken for a while. Don't tell me this is the fruits of that. Love that line from Darkest Dungeon? Yeah. There is no condition on the ships to take off only when they have enough antimatter fuel. Uh, I skipped it because I was sure we could keep up with that, but also because some of these ships are ion stream and the others are antimatter, uh, I would have to add more combinators than I wanted to to check for one or the other. I could either set set it to check for both and then like have these ships pretend they've got antimatter fuel by having a constant combinator i guess i could have just added it to this but yeah i, I have to patch a bunch of ships that way um or add i don't know how many combinators here to make it so that i guess i would have to two conditions here um yeah, that, that would be a good way to do it, actually. This is what I should have done. Do we have any combinators? We don't. Um, my construction spiders are a little bit busy right now. But, yeah, what I should have done is... Where are we? Oh, we're still, like, seven minutes out, right? Six minutes. I could have changed it so that we need three uh, green signals here, and then instead of checking here for those things, we could say antimatter has to be greater than X, ion has to be greater than X. We'll never get both of those conditions true at the same time. And then once we've got three green lights, it's time to take off. Attractive Android, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well, this is us. 
uh, what I might do... Our new ship is almost, uh, it is almost as fast as this one. So I was about to go on a trip with it anyway. It's got a lot of antimatter fuel. So what I might do is take this out, swing by Oblong, Oblong Lobolata, park it like here, preferably line it up so that these antimatter tanks uh, the underground pipe would line up, but if we can't do that, we'll jury rig something. Um, and we'll refuel these ones a bit so that they can go home. I'll stop it from trying to take off for now, so that we don't just give it some fumes of antimatter, and then it takes off, and then drifts home at a snail's pace, just like this. 16 hours at current speed. Oh no. Unfortunately, with space exploration, we can't actually dock with that ship to give it fuel. It has to be at orbit or somewhere. And this is the close. Uh, this is the thing that it is closest to. Uh, that's unfortunate. At least it was only two ships. Does this one have enough? This one has way more than enough antimatter. I could. Yeah, I could make it. Well, we're, we're going to have to wait for that ship to get there in any case. I'm going to switch off this Combinator on that one. 48 hours in your UPS time. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, wow. It might even run out of power by the time it gets there. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, it... When it moves at the minimum speed that they somehow arbitrarily have, 0.37, um, you don't see any asteroids. And it doesn't stop just because there's no power. So it'll get there one way or another. The only alternative is if I dock next to this thing, I would have to bring antimatter canisters. And I would have to put down probably space platform scaffolding next to it, if it even lets me do that. Maybe it would have to be spaceship, uh, spaceship floor tiles, so that we can put down a uh, particle accelerator. We also need to bring thermo fluid to make that work. This is the number one reason why I don't want to use these canisters. Uh, the antimatter canisters, is we need the thermofluid as well. Every use case where I imagine using the canisters, um, apart from making the reactors, of course, uh, the thermofluid would be a problem. I guess we could use barrels for that. You can always intercept and deconstruct. No, that's too sad. That's much too sad. Okay, uh, we are four and a half minutes out. Did we get our... we did get our scaffolding here. Fantastic. Wait, what? I didn't whitelist the scaffolding! No. I thought it was weird that... I just happened to catch this train unloading scaffolding, because I saw there was one on the way a while ago. That's more like it. Uh, they should probably have chests as well. They should definitely have chests as well. Which means I have to update the, the other Combinator in space. 
I don't think we needed any other kind of chest out here, except that we need we needed a storage chest once because bots picked up random things. But that's about it. We also have... I'm going to personally put this stuff here anyway. But stuff that the outpost consistently might need to repair or expand. Uh, I think we've almost got that covered. Space pipe? That's a good one, actually. Uh, space pipe. And let's check in. Oh, wait. Before I forget, this time we are going to whitelist these things. All right, cool. And then, same deal over here. We don't need to do any whitelisting this time. I th I'm pretty sure this block already has all of those things. Where's our spot? There we go. These combinators aren't quite the same, I'm pretty sure. No, I can literally just... Why was that one a negative? I need to fix that downstairs. Um, the whitelist should be fine. This one should be positive. And we also need to request... There's only a little bit of room left. Unless I add another combinator. Oh, this stacks to 50, doesn't it? Whoops. 47... 97... 47, 97... Got that right. Yeah, I got it right the first time. Okay. And then? That's a lot of trains trying to move in and out of the depot. I'm very glad I did this depot design where the trains have two exits and two, uh, two exits and or entries on either side. Oh, we didn't actually build this ice thing, did we? The whole reason why I couldn't take my construction spiders away. Alright, so for ice we need cryonite, sulfuric acid, and water, I believe. Cryonite, sulfuric acid, and water. Fantastic. Chemical plants. Um, and just how fast are we going to go? I mean, as fast as possible, but what's that going to look like? We need some... Prod sixes. Do we really need prod sixes for ice, though? If we have any shortage whatsoever, I think this is the use case where prod threes would probably be the way to go. Um, they're also faster. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I can't use prods in this at all. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Alright, speed modules, go. I don't have any. We still haven't moved to the module box. And we still don't have modules delivered here? 
This is a positive number. Uh, well, there's your problem. A podcast about engineering disasters. Uh, it's going to take a minute for a train to pick that up. Hey, Zavoxifor. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've got 1.4k speed, 2k efficiency, 711 prod sixes at the mall alone, just waiting to be picked up. That's also a lot of prods. Huh. Well, that's good. That's a lot of speed modules. And that's a lot of efficiency modules. Well then, I feel like we just found a fortune between the couch cushions. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, uh, I'm a little sad about these fuelless ships though. Well, we're gonna fix it. I need to head over there myself, and then not only do we refuel this ship, but then we leave a storage tank. No, we can't just leave a storage tank with antimatter pointed at this. We need to manually connect it when this ship gets here, because we could very well have... We probably will have other ships getting there first. Positive numbers don't exist, LTN, probably. I mean, the fact that it uses negative numbers for requests uh, means that it can use positive numbers to say it's got stuff. Uh, which means all you have to do is connect a wire to a chest. I think that's the reason. And there's our modules. Amazing. Never thought we'd see the day. We did get our media point defense ammo though. Should probably fix this up again. That'll sort itself out. How much ammo do we have here? Uh, quite a bit. That's good. Okay. You do send the antimatter value. Send the antimatter value over the clams. So you could automate the emergency refueling. Oh, the clams. Yeah, I guess. Uh, there's only one clamp and it's on the right side. I guess I could do it here. And then. If we put a. Storage tank here. We'll need a pump as well just to control it. I don't think they have pumps out here. Twenty five K should be way more than enough. Uh we do happen to have wire connections on the antimatter stream. Uh, two of the tanks here, just to get the wires across, so we don't even have to patch anything there. 494 antimatter is apparently not enough to take off. It's actually 19 out of 30 gigajoules. It's so close, but we do have to get home as well, but even so, I think... Um, like, probably a thousand or so would get us home. Uh, probably more than that, to be honest. Anyway, we're gonna say... If... Antimatter stream less than... I don't know, 5,000? Between those two tanks? That would mean 10,000 in all of these. Yeah, that, that should be fine. 
if that's the case, then pump antimatter in. And when we come here, we'll put it in here. Okay. Uh, what else have we got going on? Spiders. Oh, those are those instructions. But how do we still not pick these two up? Wait, what? Oh, I see. I I've had the spiders, uh, the old scaffolding spiders, walk past those two bits of belt numerous times, I'm pretty sure. Speaking of which, did we finally get ice delivered here? Oh. I see the problem. Well then, that would explain it. Um, we don't really have room to fix this. Uh, let's not launch. Let's not throw away... Hold on. Do we have it here? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's pick this up. What kind of chests do we have? Uh, none, actually. Hmm. I could get robots to pick stuff out of this inserter's hands, and then it's just going to bring it back in here. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, I'm just going to do what I did before, actually. Um, we're just going to mark this chest for deconstruction. And as soon as we've got... Uh, as soon as we get rid of a stack of media point defense ammo, we will undo. And that should make room. Well, that explains the mystery of how the bots took so long to issue... Uh, to get those orders issued to them. And now this ship should be able to take off. Uh, we also need spiders over here. I keep forgetting. Okay, we're going to steal one. This spider right here. We only need the combinators. So we're just going to have that spider visit this spot. So that we can patch that in to make sure we have fuel before we take off. And what's going on here? Split stacks. Yep. Alright. Uh, that's right. We don't have our speed modules. Hmm. What kind of modules do we have up here? Maybe I can use that to calculate. No, we've got crappy basic beacons. We are home. Fantastic. Oh, I turned off my exoskeleton legs. Um, temperature is approaching maximum. Fantastic. I need to request some high temp turbine generators. Wait, what? And high temp uh, heat exchangers. And we've got a beam receiver. Let me just check everything that goes into this. We'll pretend we're going to make it uh, fully sized. Space pipe, lung pipe, 12 condenser turbines. Okay, so check, 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 check. We just need the 12 condenser turbines, and I should be able to make that.
Oh, I'm already carrying 10. Make it 20 since that's the stack size. And I'll head over to the right and just build it to make absolutely sure we've got all of that. Bots brought a bonus one. Alright. Uh, spider. Show me the way. Is this train still here? Wait, what? Why is this pipe not pumping? What is going on here? Oh, I see the problem. Okay. All right. How many little mistakes like that am I going to make with this build? All right, let's head over yonder, just outside of any RoboPort ranges, and build ourselves a power plant. I haven't activated my RoboPorts. all jump out at the same time once the energy is enough sleeping pirates welcome welcome hope you're doing well are we there yet do i not have bots i have bots i've got robo ports too oh i didn't switch it on that's probably why Cool. Uh, apparently I didn't request... Well, we're not going to build the whole thing, but still, I probably should bring extra. No, I did request eight of these. Huh. Glad I checked that, actually. All right, let's get ourselves into that robot network. Uh, let's send this thing down to Nalvis. This is the first time I've used it automated like this. Module box. For some reason, I still have to tell it engage, even when I use circuitry to launch it. I don't know why it is. That is. So it's only with this ship. Uh, but yeah, on Nalvis we've got circuitry that says, once you have no prods, take off again. Uh, and I guess we're sending our spiders back to the mole because they're not doing anything because they don't have speed modules. Our other spider still hasn't reached its destination yet. Just to put down a few decider combinators. Alright, uh, do I have... No. Do we not have more high temp? We do not. Should I wait for them? We've got tons of them over here. Oh, they're being delivered right now, actually. One and one? Really? Wait, why are you taking that? That's weird. That's very weird. Uh, did I not whitelist them or something? Where's our trash pickup? Up here. We're looking for one and one. 
and we'll have up to five of them in the robot network. And these ships haven't been going anywhere. So what gives? We're about to find out. It is going toward the trash. Huh. How many do we have? I temp. Five and five. Not including what's in that steel chest. So each of these will look... This has one, this has one. This has four and four. Don't tell me. We're requesting only one. Oh my goodness. Bots. It's just the bots delivering more than we ask for into the chests. That's the only reason this is happening. Okay. You can skip that delivery. Thank you. Um, can we get the construction bots to pick this up? Or Yes. Perfect. And sorry, trash train, but not today. Alright, let's pick up the red signs. Oh, they're already overstuffed. Whoops. Or well, most of them are. Uh, let's just not right now. Back to the mall with these guys. Uh, I guess it's going to take a minute before we get that stuff delivered. Although we probably, yeah, didn't request as much as we should. Make it 20, why not? And that's a positive number. Okay, 20 may be really excessive for Biochem, but... Whatever. And what else do we need to make another outpost much like this one? Uh, we are bringing the point defenses. I'm carrying the inserters. A uh, biochemical facility? Do I have one of those? I do not. Biochem. Just so that we can melt ice. It seems a bit elaborate uh, for melting ice, but what can you do? Let's see, we've got those, we've got those, we've got those. I think we're good. Uh, spaceship clamp? as well, if I'm not carrying it already. Did I just copy that? I didn't actually, like, paste it, right? No, we're good. I do indeed have some spaceship clamps. Uh, and I would like to take... I guess just this once, I could set requests for a bunch of solar and extra scaffolding. Um, and we need 16 scaffolding per solar panel. Let's see. 4,000, I don't know the exact number. 64 by 64, and 255, and 3, and 1. 4,096. Um, scaffolding, 4096. Wait, I don't think we can fit that much in... A chest. This is 41 stacks and this is 26. Uh, so maybe like half that? Uh, 
125. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a short break. Let's fire up the old screen... Uh, I almost said screenshot. Screen saver. And fire up the old words onto the stream. Starting in about 30 seconds. And I'll be back in a few minutes.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Pause that. And there we go. Where were we? Uh, we were just waiting for a few more... Okay, more than a few more items. Uh, I'm going to drive this thing to... Probably Hankerous. I would use a construction ship to do this, but we're going to get there much, much, much faster. Uh, if I go there myself, that is a RoboPort. Well, it's actually a supercharger that we left there. Mojo D, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream? Koala raid? Best raid. Oh my goodness. Uh... Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub, and that is 31, wow. Very much appreciated, thank you Veldak. How y'all doing? It was pretty good, almost finished my new oil base, nice, nice, nice. Uh, what kind of vanilla or mods or challenges or whatever are you playing? Uh, we're still waiting on a lot of scaffolding here. We've got 23k, so it's actually just the bots. Oh, there's like five of them. No? We've got 760... Okay, how do we have 23k scaffolding? On the way zero. 23k in storage. Uh, 760 logistic bots. It's not that the chest is full. We're not falling for that again. This is my oldest save, which is a fairly, fairly modest by today's standard mega base. Is it in buffer chests? Uh, it's buffer chests that we're requesting it to, but no. Uh, oh. Huh. There was probably a reason that I temporarily put these in... had these buffer chests here. It's not supposed to be part of this. But is, didn't it say we had... How much scaffolding did I say we had a moment ago? This is 48,000... Uh, 4,800 times 3. 14th... Yeah, I think that is all of the scaffolding, actually. Well, that'll do it. Any new selfies? Yeah. Uh, we've got like three or four today, I think. Uh, by which I mean one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's only one more than I said. It's a 3600 a minute megabase, but it does a lot of stuff with combinators. Nice. I love me some combinators. Root class. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also good call, by the way. It also shows as available in the network when it's in buffer chests. Yeah, and that's not true of requester chests. Which was a little bit of a revelation. Uh, did I say re revelation? Uh, for at least one person. Uh, I was talking about how... How this build right here is going to work. Uh, we've done this before, but... Why is there random hazard concrete here? Uh, when the ship comes in, uh, this new ship that we're using, we've got set requests on the buffer chests. We can't normally read contents from uh, buffer chests. So what we do instead is we have a little sp uh, specialized robo network here. And then... Everything that isn't in the spaceship, we can read from circuit wire. And since we can do that, we can subtract that from everything in the logistics network. So then on that red wire right here, we know exactly how much stuff is in the spaceship. And we can make some decisions. Um, is this? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. 
So the red wire is positive what's in the ship. Uh, this constant combinator here sets requests on one specific chest. And then we multiply that by negative one to check if we've got all of those things in the ship. Big brain, thank you. That's a cute trick. Yeah, I was actually... I mean, this is the kind of thing that's easier to understand than it is to come up with by a long shot. But I've actually said like a hundred times this playthrough, ah, if only I could set requests and read contents on a buffer chest. We found a way, although it does require specific circumstances um, with a robot network. The first time I used it, or th this was the moment that I realized I could do it, um, at Sanj, I could have just waited for antimatter to solve this problem, but the planet is too damn big um, for our regular ships to land on. Uh, radius 8845, this is where we're getting a lot of our copper as core fragments. But to get that, we need to supply everything that it takes to run these delivery cannons. That is not something... Uh, with these ships, the size that they are, that is not something that we can just cram all of the iridium plate explosives and uh, also delivery cannon capsules into just one chest. So we use set requests so that each one of these chests... Uh, well, it gets a little bit more complicated, I'll get into this, but basically, ideally, we would set the requests on each one of these chests when it's at Narvis to... Where is... Where even is that build? Here it is. Uh, we set the requests on this end to supply the exact amount of stuff that it takes to fill that chest with uh, copper core fragments. Um, that is, to supply enough stuff to support the cannons. Unfortunately, the bots tend to oversupply things slightly, quite often. So we also need a ton of storage here and a system to only request it if the storage of X, Y, or Z resource isn't getting very full. Um, but putting that aside, uh, yeah, all of the copper core fragments in this robot network, apart from the ones that are in the spaceship, are always going to be in these passive provider chests. If you can set up something like that, you can deduce what is in the spaceship. And of course, if you have uh, multiple spaceships in the same robot network, like over here, they'd better be checking for different resources. Otherwise, things are going to get a bit confused. So it's not like a perfect solution to the problem of not being able to do both of these at the same time. Um, but it gets the job done for our purposes. So here we have... uh-oh. I think that's because I flicked that back and forth. We probably added more requests to a bunch of these chests. Um, so we should have, like, more than enough solar power, I suspect, that we can add to Hankerus so that we can beam more power. Let's see, how much is this? 255 per block and 4096 scaffolding. Um, I don't think we have all the scaffolding yet, though. Okay, what's the reason for that now? Scaffolding. We've got 24k, and I think none of it is in these chests here. Uh, it would be on the green wire. I need something so that I can just read the green wire. I don't see any scaffolding. Fun fact, there's a Hall of Fame mod. It only adds menus, simulations of famous factories. 
Mojo D's factory is there too. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I'm sure we're delivering more scaffolding. 2.8k. This isn't going as fast as I would like. But we have confirmed that we're not, like, reading all of this that's in here and not bringing more scaffolding. But how much do I actually need? Um, it's kind of hard to say because, okay, we're, we're beaming power from Angelus to Black Mirror. That gives us... Uh, 53... No, it's 7.93% efficiency. Beaming over this distance. Uh, from Hankerus to Oblong... We get... 67%. Surprisingly high. Oh no, this is... Yeah, no, that's pointing at the same solar system. These two... 15.32%. So we can probably expect something like 10% energy efficiency. How much power do we need? When this is all idle and there's no ship here. Uh, probably it's mostly just the beacon. 10 megawatts plus... 100 kilowatts on this. It's pretty much just... Let's just call it 11 megawatts. So if we need about 11 megawatts of power... It's actually pretty small. Um, the minimum we can send is 1 gigawatt. Uh, that goes into... That, that comes from one energy beam injector. If the percentage is going to be like 10%, we probably only need a gigawatt. Well, two gigawatts, because this takes a gigawatt itself. Uh, and we have 12 megawatts times like 255. Okay, we should only need like one of these squares to point. Uh, we do want to send another... We, we do want another beam aimed where the ship is going to be. Just so that this stays warm. But it's probably not even necessary. It's just sort of a... Makes me more confident that it's not going to run out of power or something. Uh, so I'm thinking we pr probably... Have way more than enough power here. Uh, we just need the scaffolding, though. Gotta, gotta say, energy beams are so cool. I absolutely agree. I, I might even just stick to using the beam receivers, even when we have uh, antimatter reactors. Because the rate this thing goes through antimatter is completely crazy. Um, these energy beam receivers, uh, hold on to a ridiculous amount of energy as heat. This is actually, like, the best accumulator in the game, by far. As long as you have everything you, that you need to turn it into power. Uh, we do slowly consume water with this, but I do mean slowly. And, uh... Yeah, you, you can go a surprisingly long way on, like, I don't know, 50 degrees Celsius drop from this, or something like that. And just one high-temp turbine generator is, like, pretty much way more than enough for any ship that we've built. We're not going to need more than one of these on a ship until we're building, like, ridiculous over-the-top endgame ships. And considering how fast this ship got, um, what was its top speed? It's, it's telling us launch energy instead of, instead of speed right now. I think it was 240-something. 
considering the nexus, uh, the endgame thing, requires us to go 250 speed. We're almost there, just with this ship. So, probably, depending on the size of the thing, this could actually be an end... This could almost be an endgame ship. It is slightly slower than this one, but... Well, actually, our hull stress is almost as high as our container stress. Never mind. I was going to say, if we strip away some containers, it'd be different. So we'd need to add some more engines to this to reach that speed. But I think it's actually pretty doable. Uh, it's still behind the energy shield here. If we add, like, an engine here, an engine here, some more lasers, maybe some more... Uh, energy shield at the front, and then wonder where we're going to fit our nexus. Maybe if we swap out those solar panels. This might actually be pretty close to an end game ship. I'm not sure. I was traveling in my spaceship earlier, realized I forgot to refuel antimatter for engines. I estimated my future usage and decided to proceed. Long story short, I ran out of fuel 13 seconds before Nalvis orbit. Engines kept shutting down one after another, but I coasted it back. Last 13 seconds I dropped from three, 330 speed to 17. You literally just got there without running out. I got those two selfies, both on planets with over 9k radius. Nice. That is literally... You could scarcely get any closer than that. I mean, you you will coast into Nalvis, uh, even if you do run out of fuel, but it's so agonizingly slow. I mean, we've actually got an example of it here. Uh, this ship managed to run out of fuel because of a little pipe error that I made. Current speed, 0.37. You kind of get that amount of speed for free. And ETA, 15 hours, 52 minutes to go from here to here. That's going to be a little while. It was very close. I was surprised how close. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, I'm carrying a million prod modules too. Uh, I kind of, sort of, well... I guess the module box is already downstairs. I'm... Wait, what? Didn't I already click engage on this? Oh, don't tell me. So... I don't understand why this is the only ship... This is the only ship that even when I automate it, I keep having to click engage to make it start moving. I wonder if it's because we don't have a power source. This is the only one where we're just running it off of a, an accumulator. But I would think that would sort of count as a power source. Uh, but yeah, it launched because it had no prod modules left. Speaking of which, we should have prod modules here in the spiders. Uh, apparently not. Yeah, one of them is carrying 50. Alright, uh, more to the point, they should have speed and efficiency modules, which is what we were looking for a little while ago. Alright, so... Did I put that back? Yeah, I did. So instead of two conditions being met, we're going to make it uh, three conditions. And we're either looking for 39,000 something ion stream. Or how much antimatter? I think it's 200k that fits in these ships. Uh, yeah, 200,000. And 
and it should be greater than or equal to. That's probably a bit too slow to refill it. 199,900. 39,900 ion stream. And then instead of two, we're looking for three green signals. I don't think I can. Let's just do it this way. Add the wires. Oh no, that's already connected. That's fine. 11, 12 and 1105. Okay, I didn't mess up those signals. Alright, so in future our ships should not take off if they haven't refueled. What a novel idea. It would be interesting if they add something like a solar sail, allowing to propel ships with energy beams. That would be very cool. Uh, they are working on space elevators. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, definitely... Uh, that sort of technology that's sort of... relatively low-tech, but very cool like that. Love stuff like that. Not nets, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh maybe I could go pick up some scaffolding or something. I didn't expect to be waiting this long to launch this ship. We've got fifty-seven thousand here. Let's go grab some. We'll put it in the spider. Also, what are you doing right now? That, that's weird. We've got this... Oh, I think it is actually connected to things. Okay, never mind. Let's get that out of the way. What are they doing, though? Wait, did we accidentally connect these two robot networks? Oh no, that's bad. Interstellar space elevators connecting different galaxies? I mean, you do end up with teleportation in this mod. It's pretty much... You have to have won the game already kind of thing. Alright, let's turn off my personal logistics. And... I didn't think that was scaffolding. Oh, there's some... Yoink. Yoink. Uh, yoink and yoink. Yoink and yoink. That's empty. They're not stealing it from me, are they? Oh, I need to leave before the bots take that away. Go, 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 go. Alright, and then we're going to go back into this network. Uh, we're going to set the spiders... Excuse me. We're going to set the spiders' logistics to... not hold on to space platform scaffolding. I was under the impression the space elevators were for planet to orbit. Yeah, that's what a space elevator is. Not between planets slash galaxies. Yeah, it was sort of a joke. Indeed. Uh, it's a bit... It's a bit of a large scale even for Factorio, but it, it'd be cool if we could build an orbital ring. That's the... Uh, that's the type of space elevator that does not require unobtainium. But it's, uh... Literally has to go all the way around the planet. Uh, 
I want a Dyson Sphere. That too is a pretty big scale even for Factorio. Alright. How close are we to... We need 16 scaffolding per solar panel. Uh, and this is 1 to 5 with the stacks. So we need like a bit more than three stacks of scaffolding per stack of solar panels. We're nowhere near a good ratio here, but do we actually have enough already, I wonder? I think I may have... I don't think I finished calculating, actually. Um, 12 megawatts times 255. 3 gigawatts. We probably only need, like, 500 uh, flat solar panels added here to comfortably add the power that we need. And multiply that by 16, we need, like, 8,000 scaffolding here. I dare say we've already got that. In fact, I remember, yeah, the train was bringing forth 2.8k. There it is. Um, I guess I could throw something together right here, actually, to calculate um, how much is in the ship. And just connect that like so, because we just happen to have all of this wired. Times negative one. Output each. Read logistic network contents. We have 43,000 scaffolding in our spaceship. I think that's going to be enough. Let's get out there. Uh, and we're not going to need that combinator anymore. Okay. Plenty of bots as well. Uh, I've got some miners, surely? I'm not carrying any miners. I mean, the... The ships are going to in future... No, there's miners here. Okay, cool. And we got a handful of prods, even. Yeah, I think we've got everything. Let's pick up our spider, put the giant robot spider in our little pockets, and head over to... First stop is Hankerous. Hankerous Orbit. And away we go. One last check to make sure we've got everything. Are we going to start? I have to hit engage. Fantastic. If the solar orbit surface is limited like other ones, it's technically possible? I guess so. I don't know this, but I thought um, someone may have said the uh, the orbits and the asteroid fields are actually infinite. Could be wrong about that. What's our speed already? A hundred and oh my goodness. One hundred and ninety-two already. We'll be there in fifteen minutes. And I think we're capping out at like 220, if that. Nice. Alright then. Uh, meanwhile on Nalvis, 
we have our modules. We can finally... Why have you not put speed modules in here? I'm sure... Oh, don't tell me. Uh... I think we had speed modules here, but they were all in the little shuttle. And it came back because it got rid of all its prod modules. Do I hear 15 minutes of words? I don't think so. We've already had, I think, uh, three little words breaks today. That'll... wait, what? I forgot to change its... There we go. Oh, it's getting prod modules. Wait, why did it now get prod modules? Well, it doesn't matter. I really am curious as to why this is the only ship that we have to click engage every time, even when we launch it with the automation. I tried, indeed. Alright, we'll be there in 10 game seconds, uh, and I think I already set it up so that we're not launching it back. Alright, I guess we bring our spiders back again. And while we're waiting on that, the old scaffolding spiders should be empty. Fantastic. Let's get them to pick up some more of the old base. And I need to set up an ice shuttle so that we can delete this old stuff. But if I connect this... I connect this. We can leave some of that in place for now. Light, chemical gel, cosmic water, petroleum heavy. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we've got all six. Uh, I think we've got six of those things over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got everything but water. We should just add a... Oh, wait. No, that's... That's Cryonite Slush, actually. Why is Cryonite Slush here? I think there was, like, one thing in all of science that needed Cryonite Slush. I could be wrong. There must have been a reason I brought up Cryonite Slush like this, surely. Um, but yeah, I don't really have room... Oh, yes I do. Let's bring our... Is it this group? Construction spiders over here. And we're going to add... a water drop-off next to the cosmic water drop-off. Is this supposed to be connected? Probably not. It's going to remain connected anyway. And we can actually just... connect that like so. Seven tiles. Perfect. We don't need a pump, because that's not going anywhere else. So this is going to be... Cosmic water greater than zero. If the train is asking for cosmic water... And... Water greater than zero... 
did I get all of those? Let's just copy that across. Let's very carefully copy that across. Alright. That should be all it takes. Oh, and it doesn't really matter if I change the name of this station, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then delete that, copy this over here, bring the spiders over. And those were the only two builds like that that I did. So now we've got water. I still want to get rid of this eventually. I want to phase out all of the cargo rockets. But that'll give us water in the rail system. Uh, even after we get rid of this one. Okay, let's get to some more deconstructing. I'm not going to worry too much. I mean, it's all infinite resources. It's just... What the... Nope, nope, nope. It's just a temporary offset, getting rid of some of that fluid. It's not even very full right now. Why do you want to phase out rockets? They seem fairly efficient UPS-wise. Uh, because... Cargo rocket sections and uh, space capsules and crashes are all a bit of a hassle. Uh, and they don't have anywhere near the capacity of a spaceship. Like these little things right here with 16 chests, uh, that is a little bit more than 1.5 times. Uh, it's 768 stacks as opposed to 500, and also all 768 of the stacks actually get where they're going, uh, as opposed to having to pour quite a lot of res- Oh, I'm glad I was here to see that. Hmm, how fast are we going? 200 and... 14. What's our research? Energy... Energy weapons damage 10. Oh, 9 rather. I don't understand. We tested this quite thoroughly uh, over a long distance in editor extensions and it never took any damage. Uh, but here we are having to repair our walls here. And a similar thing happened with our other ship. I don't know of any research other than energy weapon damage. Uh, that would affect whether we're going too fast for our defenses. But also, I'm surprised... I'm surprised the wall took damage through this shield. I could just move them up a tile. We've got room to do that easily, thankfully. Yeah, that should be fine. Maybe I absent-mindedly moved them back at some point when I shouldn't have. Judging by where I point the walls before it collides with them? No. Oh, this, these two right here. It was this one that took damage, right? Yeah, I think it was exactly this tile. So that might be the only one that was vulnerable. In which case it might take a lot of testing, and I do mean a lot, before you get hit by an asteroid at that exact spot when the lasers are a bit overwhelmed. Well, I need to update that blueprint then.
Um, is there anything about this ship in particular? No, there isn't, because we're using set requests. This is one of the reasons I like that setup. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is precisely the ship that I want to update this blueprint with. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, let me just make sure I got that, actually. Those are sticking out a bit. Yep, that's fine. So it should not be possible. I did bring extra spaceship wall just in case that gets broken. I've spent the last six hours in SE thinking about concepts and actually will go back to rockets when it comes to raw resources and delivery to one location within a solar system. I'll have spaceship to supply those mining outposts. Uh, what reasons do you have for that? How close are we? Uh, let's check the ETA. Less than 10 minutes. Oh, I didn't name this ship, did I? That must be us, Sheriff. What should I call this thing? I don't think I gave it a name, it's just a thousand hole antimatter hauler. Hmm. What does this pattern of shields put us in mind of? When they were pointed straight up like this, someone said they looked like angry eyebrows or something. But that's not really working this time. I mean, when I put these into servers, they're actually just going to be named for the planet or location that they're going back and forth to. Well, Sheriff it is, for now. Near instant delivery is one thing, and less moving of items to and from ships versus it just appears in a landing pad. Yeah, I suppose so. Although with bots it can be very fast. Okay. I hope uh, we're kind of running out of time for today. Hmm. I was going to say I hope we can get this fixed today, but unless I go extra long, well, that's for tomorrow anyway. Well, that's what I would hope would happen tomorrow anyway. What else can we do right now? Spiders, did you get your modules? Where are you? I don't see... are you not requesting them? You're joking. How did this happen? No, you've got efficiencies and you've got speed. Why is this one any different? Alright, that should probably do it. I need to go downstairs and do to these construction spiders, what I did with uh, these ones up here, where I split them into separate rolls, so they've got plenty of empty inventory slots. Alright, we can at least get our ice build done, right? We will be needing some speed modules in these things. Oh right, we can't use pods, that's right. I want to see just how few machines we can get away with for this. This is all fluid, so inserters won't be an issue. We need to make cryonite slush though, which is cryonite plus sulfuric acid, if I recall. What's missing to get research moving? It's nacrotite. It's always nacrotite now. Um, and we were spamming 
There's actually a ship that's blocked here because that one can't take off. At least one ship. Could be more. Number 11. Number 2. Number 3. Number 4. Number... Not 5. Wait, what's wrong with 5? Oh, this is the one that's in deep space. Oblong 6 is also waiting for its turn to land. Yeah, literally all of them. Uh, one ship is stuck here because it ran out of fuel. One ship is here because it ran out of fuel. Every other ship, except for Oblong 1, which is one of the old slow ones, uh, every single Oblong ship is parked uh, just above this one, waiting for it to get out of the way. But it can't because it's got no antimatter. So, most of our Naquitite supply has stopped because of this. Because of one little mistake with some pipes. We do still have the... Uh, I should have named them Black Mirror, but... Deep Space Miner ships from the first iteration going back and forth. But they are fairly slow. 30 unit, 32, 31, 32 units per uh, even when we're not in a dense asteroid field, which we are a lot heading back and forth towards Black Mirror, not to mention moving through Black Mirror itself. So yeah, we need to get over there and... Wait, is this us? No. I thought we're up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, maybe I should go to Oblong first. We're already on this trajectory. This would be a little bit inefficient. Uh, but yeah, once we get some more solar power added to Hankerus, a couple of energy beam transmitters, aim it at Stardust, and then we'll head out to Oblong, rescue this ship. Uh, and then there's going to be kind of an avalanche of Naquitite. We're also going to get these prods in here, finally. Okay. Uh, it's chemical plant as well for the chronite slush, right? Fantastic. We should probably have... Let's see. Can we fit... The water's coming from here, so we just need one solid, one fluid for input. Uh, and I want a long train for both input and output. Can we fit two of these here, despite that bit of rail? Not exactly. I could do the signaling a bit better, or move this around. That would probably help. Just have to remember to reconnect that later. Alright, let's put these in the usual place in, in that case. Right about here. And like so. I just realized a thing, even when antimatter annihilation doesn't have any side effects, just pure energy, there'll, there'll always be someone protesting its use? Probably. I don't know. Like, enough people to be stochastically relevant? I have my doubts about that. Uh, let's see. Pump goes this way. And because it's one fluid, one solid at this station, we won't have to worry about... Uh, we, n we won't need any fancy circuitry for this part. 
So how much can we reasonably do? Let's see some speed modules in this. Only 1.6 per second consumed, and only 16.7 cryonite slush. We probably don't need a whole lot of cryonite slush, though. Uh, 310 water per second per machine. Well, we've got all of the water right here. So, maybe we could even do a direct insert. That's going to get imbalanced. I could do a balanced unloader from a direct insert. That might be a good way to go, actually. And I think I have an idea. We don't even need a combinator. Uh, the pipes might be an issue if I do it like this. We could do fewer chests. So then we go... It's literally one cryonite rod, right? So let's just go fast in saddles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then... Like this. I kind of like this. Alright, so how much sulfuric acid would this consume? Give me all of the speeds, please. Uh, only 13.36 per second? That is so slow. We're using nothing but speeds here. Okay. Um, but is that, like, enough to make a good amount of ice? I, I would imagine it is. 13.36... Uh, sorry, 133.6 crinite slush per second. Um, let's put this under the beacon. Should have used picket dollies, actually. Whatever. Oh, I have to wait for the modules as well. Uh, this actually consumes 8.3 per second. So it takes two of these to support one of... No, it takes... Two of these to consume one of these. If I read that right. Uh, can we fit that somehow? Preferably in a neat pattern. Uh, it's all... This is Cryonite Slush, and this needs Cryonite Slush plus water. We need to bear in mind as well that we need to have enough throughput for the water. And we also need to output the ice. This is surprisingly an interesting build. Many surprised there were anti-vaxxers. Oh yeah. Get me started, do not. Um, I would like to just... If we do these one-to-one, -one, it's a bad ratio, though. It's literally one-to-two. What if... What if... Which side is Cryonite Slush? This side. I'd like for it to be able to fit like this, but I don't think I can pull it off. Or it, I don't think it is necessarily doable. Unless... If this goes... something like that, do we have room... No, we're not going to have room for the water input over here. Hmm. Uh, 
I think we just have to, like, use more space. What if... Okay, this might be a bit more promising. We need that to be just far enough apart to allow the water in. I'm worried about the throughput of water, but we'll see where this goes. I could actually fit pumps here everywhere, so we can probably squeeze enough water in through this. Something like that. How much water would we need to support eight of these? 6.6k. Uh, that's a lot, but with the pumps so close together, I think it might be doable. But also we need the offshore pumps. Uh, one, two, three. We probably need six of them for each side. That's five. Uh, let's get rid of this part. And some more down here. But if we have the Cryonite Slush... Go out this way, perhaps. We can definitely put this further if we need to. Um, I don't think the long pipe isn't going to be long enough to do what I was thinking about. Uh, unless we just, you know, make it long enough. Let's say cryonite like this. How fast do we make ice? 8.35 per second. That's actually pretty good per machine. Wait. This is going to be too much for the belt at this rate. 133 per second. We would need more than two belts of output. We could have it go left and right easily enough, but it's getting a bit awkward otherwise. Well, we do have room... We would have room to have this one... Oh, where's the beacon going to go? Uh, we can just barely not put it where I would like it. Okay, I see how it is. I was thinking of belt out like so, and like so, uh, and we could get four belts of output, but we're not going to be able... Well, that is a problem for another day. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Mucky? Dune? I haven't raided Dune in ages. He actually raided me recently. Uh, sure, that'll do. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, have a good one. Oh, and tomorrow is the... Variety beggar, I mean subathon. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to go. Basically, I'm going to extend it uh, if the tip jar overfloweth. Uh, theoretically, maybe I'll do diminishing returns or something. Uh, but theoretically, if I could turn this into my job, we're aiming for 24 hours. But I don't know if it'll be anything like that. 
Take care, guys. Let's drop in on Dune. See you, Valdek. Kovach. And Daniel, take care. Second. 